content. Welcome, guys, beans back for another podcast, episode 72, where we talk about beans on pizza, pineapple on pizza, and everything else here about my hero. Just know here that it's going to be a full spoiler episode about anything manga and related. We have here the most popular guy that talks about my hero in the YouTubers and content creation because he talks, he ha- he has predicted theories even before they even come out already. Welcome so guys, let's straight up and talk about them and see what happens. Where we talk about beans- How's it going? Sam! Sam, you're you're on mute, my guy. <laughs> on your mic! <laughs> oh no! Okay, so sorry. Let me say this. This is great, live. Go ahead, Sam. <laughs> Take two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Anime Lately Podcast. I'm your host, Sam the Mega Man, and here with me are my Potakus. Introducing first. The most wholesome content creator, the director of anime, the certified king of games, Mr. Twitter Verified, oh my brother, testify, it's Ray Apollo! Our next devilish handsome devil is a demon in the Black Clover community. He has a great love for Weekly Shonen Jump, the Hurricane Typhoon, Najee D. Vash, the Nutter Butter Lover, the Ash Juice Guzzler, Miguel. Ha! He told me Ash Juice. <laughs> Sam, told me, Sam called me Ash Juice. He said the uh, Ash Juice Guzzler. I want everybody to understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Our next Brotaku brother in is the CEO of the Careful Spoilers Podcast Network, founder of the No Anime No Life Facebook group. He is JB exclusive, the incredibly talented James Barnes. Yeah. And now our special guest. He's for the people. Talk shit, then eat knuckles. Shonen jump mangos, he dabbles. His fans, he's grateful. His ha- his haters, they tremble. He humble. The smoke, he wants double. Head shaped like a pineapple, but my hero is his Bible. His videos, like John Wick and a pencil. He hustles. Straight facts, he unravels. His theories, no equals. His ideas, unrivaled. More dangerous than a rifle. Sorry, ladies, he's not single. Let's give it up for Boko Pineapple! <laughs> I wasn't expecting bars. Let's get that, it. That, that's like, that's just... straight from that boy's dome. Nowhere else is beautiful. <laughs> no, nah, I believe it. I heard the, the the not single part. I was like, that's recent information. Wow. <laughs> 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 what? Well, right. well done, Sam. <laughs> Sam always goes above and beyond for his guests. Always goes. I love it. He does great job with his intros. Like I always tell him, like, yo, he better get a job to do some type of ring announcer for for her. word. <laughs> For type of wrestlers, he he'll do a great job. I think so too because I definitely feel like I've been announced. I definitely. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> feel like you. Don't you feel like you just walk into yeah, a room full of like thousands like, of people? I feel like Vince McMahon walking into the ring like. Yeah, I'm gonna leave with my chin. Oh my <laughs> I hate him. He I hate always looks mad. <laughs> he looks mad all the time. When are you coming? He like, be. I'm about to fire somebody. So like, you already fire him. <coughs> You already have juice. Be careful. <laughs> that means he's Bye. doing his job. Uh oh. <laughs> the ass juice, I'm telling you, man. Damn. Went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> they got, got the ass juice in the wrong spot. You could go oh, get yeah. some water, so I we could. Okay, good. Do a bit more ass juice. I'm good. Look They're making just... me laugh. And for the yoga, I mean, I has a we have to get you this die, you can't blame us. <laughs> <laughs> you can't die alive. Oh, trust me. There's been a lot of things that happened on live that I don't know how it happened live. You still sound like you're struggling to breathe. Yeah, you about, you're going to be all right. You're going to be okay. I'm doing better. <clears throat> I don't I'm sound like better. it. Anyway, <laughs> Pineapple, thank you so much for being here, man. We truly no, do course. appreciate you taking the time to come talk with us because you'd be like, I don't know who the hell these dudes are, but I guess I'll go talk with them. <laughs> no, no, that's not me. I like no, being anywhere I'm wanted. Man. Thank you so I, much. And we did want you here, believe it or not. We really did. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Yeah, because you have done my hair content for years now. So, like, and you're really great at it. I watched you as a fan before and everything. Um, so, like, Same. it's great to... Um, Thank it's, you very much. 
yeah because it's great to have like to actually talk to you and actually know more about you than other just seeing your videos and seeing like i try to be a editing. really reachable person i think i try to be very like if anyone has a question or anything like i feel like they can you know they can ask and i'm very open and stuff like that i try to be very i don't know i'm on twitter a lot right so, so if anytime... i tweeted at you right now hey pineapple what would you say if somebody asked you to chug ass juice <laughs> I would say I would answer your question. I would answer. I'm gonna leave it for Twitter too. I would answer your question though. Like you would get an answer. I wouldn't look at that and be like, "What? Who am I to answer?" This? No, like I don't think I'm anybody to not have to answer those questions. That's an important question. That's, I mean, you could dodge that, but I wouldn't be mad. Nah, I'm not so, drinking any ass juice. <laughs> I'm not either. I'm not chugging any. I'm not sipping any. I'm not having a, a tasting. So for those people that wonder, what's Yo, we this? We gotta give context. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say. I'm about to say we gotta give context before y'all yeah, just keep throwing me under the bus yeah. about this because ass juice. How does it become juice? So yep. what happened was like last week uh, when, when we went live, um, we were drinking some wine all of a sudden. But my wine is called, it's uh -oh. called culitos. And if you're in Spanish, you know that culitos means booty, oh my God. ass cheeks. So when I, when I show them behind the scenes what I'm drinking, Ray just said ass juice. So then during the show, Ray just kept calling it ass juice. So then that's how it happened. So that's how we got here. That's the short version. So my wine that I kept drinking the whole night became a story from uh, uh, to now and for maybe more future endeavors. Yes, we confirm with that, that context in mind. Juice. I feel like I would chug some ass juice now with that context in mind. <laughs> there we go. See yes, how it all yes. makes sense. Culitos is a very funny name for a wine. <laughs> Have you drank that one before? No, I haven't. And I've it's good. Mystified um, into why it's called that. Why is it? I don't know either. I never checked yeah. the. I never checked I didn't the history. Wanna, I didn't want to Google it neither because I didn't want to go into a private. No, why? Yeah, why so. keep the mystery of it? It makes it funny exactly. Like yeah. Because so. once you know, it's like oh. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. that's dumb. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the behind story of why I've been drinking ass juice, and I just finished the ass juice last night from the same bottle of last week. Uh, so it's been good. She's got a bottle of ass now. Yep. Just whole. I mean, ass I think you bottle. have to put that into your Twitter description now. Into your. That's got to be your Twitter name, bro. It belongs there. I don't want to put in a name because ass I don't juice guzzler. <laughs> but next, next to another butter lover, the ass juice assassin. I like it. I like yeah. that. I like that. Uh, I'll change that right now. Um, so I don't mind doing that. But I also have it. I have also have been drinking poppy. I don't know. If, I don't know if you guys have drink. You know. know. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's poppy. It's a good drink. Um, I've been drinking the white one and the pink one. So like they're both very good, very tasteful. So I do recommend to drink some poppy. However, you want to take that text. I've never had any. Nope. I'm good. Yep. No, no. Okay. I'm not reading into that any further. I'm going to stay right <laughs> there. Nope. I'm going to stay, nope. stay yep. real far away from that one. Out of that one. <laughs> I'm not going to pull into that pistol. I'm going to let you have that one all on your own. Okay, man? It's all good. It's all good. Go ahead, Al. You can drink the rest of that. Yep. Don't worry. <laughs> he was like. Mm. This is first, first ash juice and now puppy. What the hell is this podcast talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of drinks, man. If you're here for the first time, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, after the show. Always, this is I always love that. I always <laughs> love those episodes of anything. People are like, "Well, this isn't usually how we do things," but uh, yeah, it's not. It's like, always the best one. This is usually how we talk about anime, manga, news. Yeah. We talk about the creator, the guest here, but no, how we start the show talking ash about juice. booty juice. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> And I can't wait to hear that story in the future. Man, I remember you, Ray. I was on your show. We talked about ass juice. Ass juice yeah. <laughs> no, it leaves a strong impression though and a strong scent, I bet. Yeah. But like, you know what? Maybe I should follow this guy that I see his name now. Because I did change my name now. My name now is Vash Vash the Booty Juice Drinker. Um oh, no. No, Guzzler. Guzzler, guzzler bro. I bet that guzzler, you, ass not, you probably was like, I can't spell that. I ain't gonna... <laughs> Ask you, sir. I don't know. That's actually, that's actually true. Ray knows me very well. I am horrible at spelling oh, because God. because I'd be asking them something I'd be like, "Hey guys, how do you spell that?" And they're like, "Bro, hey, yo, say why? Yo, say me telling me like, um, sound it out, guy, sound it out." I'm like, sound "Bitch, if I'm asking Man. you, means I don't want to sound it out, and I can't I, because I'm not answering it now." Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel oh, bad for some people that just turn in for the first time to oh, find out, yo, so we have woke up pan up in here and everything. This is not how they expected like, the show to be. <laughs> no, absolutely not. But it's fine. What are expectations for? That is true. 
But anyway, how's how has been your week? How has this pandemic been for you? How's the treaty for you? Pandemic has been pretty. I mean, everyone made a very big deal about how the pandemic was going to change their lives, and I I get that, of course, right? But I was really an inside person already, right? Before the pandemic hit, I didn't really go out all that much. I went on a couple of vacations, like little stuff like that, just to de stress. But for the most part, I stay home, right? I'm good at staying home and getting stuff delivered and stuff like that. So it didn't really do too much to my day-to-day, -day, right? Um, moving was definitely something that was really real. I recently had to move, and that was a big pain in the ass. That was a real big problem. Um, but sucks. yeah, that it threw like... I had this content schedule that I was like, yeah, in October, we about to hit the ground and then, nah, nah, nah. and no moving was like, stop it. What are you t talking about? Like, you got to get all this stuff done. You got to, eh, I just got a cat. Why did I do that? I don't know. So, <laughs> <laughs> but everything's been good for the most My part. <laughs> Cats got a cat. Mean. I mean, some of them, not all of them. And I have a dog. So it's like, why oh. did I actually do that? Because I'm they. I'm pretty sure the dog was like, why did you actually <laughs> yeah, do my that? My dog was like. <laughs> What do you? What is this decision you're making? And I'm like, well, be we got to deal with it, bro. All right, <laughs> deal with it. That's your homie now. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I know that Sam took the time to write up some very nice questions for you. Mm, let's do it. I mean, but, you know, not like your your normal question. Just think of this more as a this is we're here to interview Vocal Pineapple from the okay. book. No, okay. this is a conversation. We're just here to chill. We like to just talk shit, talk about anime and manga. And when we have a guest like yourself, we just like to try and get to know you. Um, yeah. as you know, a group of friends talking about anime and manga. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, first question is, CC, like, what got you to start doing content creating? What got me to start doing content creating? My cousin, uh, Kevin, told me that I would be good at doing content, and I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> so I started. <laughs> so I started doing content. This was when I was um, I was like sixteen. I'm twenty six now. Uh, I was sixteen. And I was doing like Naruto reviews, like reviewing Naruto chapters when Naruto was still running. Um, and then I ended up getting like a HD PVR to like record gameplay. Um, and then from there, uh, like footage that I would upload started getting posted on Saiyan Island. And then we st I started working on Saiyan Island somehow. I don't know Saiyan how that I remember really... Saiyan Island. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, wow. I started working for them, writing for them for a while. Then wow. that went really sour because the lady who ran that site was it's a big mess. Okay. Uh, and then started Shonen Games with my cousin who got me into doing content and my other friend Christian. So we started, we did that for a little while. Um, and we I helped run their channel on there and i don't know like uh, while i was doing that channel my big thing was like i, I want to do like videos that aren't just us playing games like i want to there's a bunch of stuff we could be doing and it was always just kind of like a nah that's not really like what we do like we, we post gameplay if we start doing other stuff it's gonna there's gonna be a problem um so eventually i just started i made my own i, I think i for a while i started just doing it anyway i was like well what the fuck are you gonna do like you know what are you gonna what are you gonna do stop me um <laughs> and then the videos did really good and then i was like well proof of concept but you know no one still wants me to be doing these so i'm gonna go make my own channel not uh, to say i and, was right but yeah no right. definitely to say that i was right actually <laughs> no exactly. to say that i was right here i'm gonna go do it again um and yeah and then my channel got taken down oh shit i don't i still don't really know why hey. i no idea um, so I made another channel and that's the channel that I have now that's at, I don't, I don't know, 220, I think. Yeah. 222. Oh, ah! But my hey. main drive, to be honest, besides my cousin telling me that, Hey, you'd probably be good at doing this. And he was doing it at the time, um, is I was 16 and I was working at Dunkin' Donuts and it was my first job, right? Like I was working there for a month. It was at the end of the summer and I was about to go back to school. And I remember my supervisor was like, Hey, I'll change your hours so you can adjust and go to school and whatnot. And you can still, you know, do both things. And in my state, when you're 16, you're not even supposed to be working anywhere, right? I was mm -hmm. doing that like without the proper papers or whatever. So I go back to school and she doesn't change my hours so that I can be in class at the right time. So like she has my hours during times where I'm supposed to be in school. And then when I complain about it, she's like, well, hmm. either come to work or go to class. Like, what do you, you know? And I'm like, okay, great. So I go to complain to all my coworkers 
and they're all like, yeah, we hate her, uh, all this stuff. And like talking about like they've, they've all had complaints and whatnot. And I then go complain to the guy who runs the franchise or whatever, the guy who actually hired me in the first place. <laughs> and he tells me that no one had ever had a complaint about this lady ever in the history of them working there. And I just looked at everyone that I worked with like, wow, that's crazy. So you, you guys <laughs> all like. That's cool. I don't want I don't want to ever deal with this ever again. Like having someone be in control of all of this. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, wow, that's crazy. So this is how all of you. All right, cool. I'm just I have to be in charge of my own situation. Like a hundred percent. So I was 16 and I started doing YouTube and I didn't really do well at first. Um, and then my mom tried to get me to apply to jobs. Like my mom would drive me to a place and be like, hey apply here right now and get this oh, job damn. because you can't do YouTube. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And I would apply and put like BS on the application. I got a job at McDonald's and then like I got the job. Like my mom somehow had like manipulated the whole thing enough to the point where it was like, no, you're getting this job. I know oh. someone who works there. You are getting this job. Got the uniform and everything. And I just didn't show up to oh, wow. my first day at work. I just didn't go. And I'm like, no, like I'm, no, I'm not. I can't be forced to do anything. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, nah, you have to deal with the fact that I am very stubborn. Um, even with my channel being deleted, it's like, oh, God damn it. That was a lot of work. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> yeah. Like, what else am I going to do? I started doing right? this when I was 16. And I can't be like, well, all right, then now, like, no, I take it really serious. I have to. I got to keep going. Like, what else? What else? That's I, I feel you like because but it's it's crazy. You were sixteen. It was like, hey, all y'all adults are idiots. Yeah, <laughs> I, just, I just I just I really specifically didn't like like all the conversations that I know that I had with coworkers talking about the complaints that they made about this lady and all this stuff, and then finding out that that was all just lies and people mm -hmm. being like, here, let's get this kid to make this complaint, and it's like, all right, so. I don't like any of like any aspect of this. I don't like and mm -hmm. being mistreated by people who come into the, your, your job. And like yep. some lady threw a sausage patty at me one time, a old man shitted up the whole bathroom. And like, mm -hmm. I love old people very, very much. So it's the like, it's not nice. a problem. It's not a problem to have to clean <laughs> it up, but it's just like, after the fact, it's like, damn, you know, when your supervisor makes it harder for you, you know what I mean? So and that's not to say I haven't had a hard time on YouTube also. Like, I've had bad contracts. I was in a 50-50 split for three years one time. Oh. Imagine that. A 50-50 yeah. split for three years, and we shared the channel with three people. Uh, yep. Yeah. Right? That happened. Uh, I, I worked with, like, a podcast network one time and made their channel and everything, and then they were just like, swipe. When I had, like, I just got in an apartment, and... No apartment. Apartment had to lose the apartment. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Stuff like so. But yeah, I've just been very, very hard headed <laughs> about like, well, I'm still gonna do YouTube, like no matter what problem occurs or whatever. Like this is my thing. Like I like editing videos. I like doing thumbnails. I like writing. I like interacting with people on Twitter. Like it's my th shit. Like I love it very, very much. So. But that's good that you don't give up because you have trial, you have error, and no, people like, just, just people just. Really, just I don't feel like it's really over. an option to like I, I, I I'm really hard headed. So it's not like I feel like some people look at it and it's like, oh, man, that's like determination. It's like, yeah, I guess. But it's also I'm just very, very hard headed about wanting to live a certain way and do certain things. And like, I have to do what it takes to be able to do those things. Right. Like wanting to move or wanting to to go on a vacation or wanting to like not be stuck somewhere. Like I have to figure out what I have to do to be able to do those things. Like, it's not an option for me to not be able to do those things. Like, I have to do it, right? So once I look at it that way, it's always, I feel like it makes things a little easier. It, it cuts out a lot of side BS, right? Like, I don't really worry. I don't have any drama or, you know, I argue on Twitter sometimes, but that's where it ends, you know? Like, I don't really have anything because I just focus on, I tweet a bunch and I make content every once in a while when I don't forget that I'm a content creator and, you know, that's it. That's all I do. I just, and besides that, I hang out. I walk my dog. You know, like, I don't know. I live a very I, plain life. I mean, it's so, you say, you say it's plain, but it's honestly like, 
what some people dream about. Think about that. Oh. But it's it's one of those. Well, things. that's true. Yeah, is, I mean, I, I definitely don't take it for granted at all. Yeah, it's I what know, I, I it's that. what I dream yeah. about. Like I have a good <laughs> job. I have a good paying job, but working for someone else is not for me. Like I yeah, have I agree. to make my own way. I have to make the content that I want to do. Like I hate doing stuff for other people that I don't give a shit about. So yeah, like mm -hmm. that's goals for me. So yeah, here it's, it's, it's. I was definitely very. I'm sorry for, to cut you off. I was definitely no. very uh, lucky also that like. I was in the position where like I could be like, hey mom, I'm not gonna work this job. Like you got it. When yeah, I was my mom 16, right? Beat my ass. <laughs> yeah, like, there, there, there's definitely places where it was like I'm not telling everyone like, hey, just do this, do this, and that, and just tell everyone no. Like I was definitely very lucky to be in a situation where I could kind of say no. Mm -hmm. Like, but I don't know. Like I, I don't even know where I'm going with that. But I, I definitely no. think I was really, really lucky with just like being in the position to be able to say no to a lot of stuff mm -hmm. um and i i would hope that for like other people right like i would hope that for everyone else to be able to find a way to be hard-headed like it's okay to be hard-headed about stuff that is gonna make a positive difference in your life i think and i feel like people people trying to tell you hey don't do this don't do that if it's positive it's like something that's good for you no don't be hard-headed about it as long as you're not hurting anyone else yeah right. exactly why would you not hurt nobody else that you're not being rude about it you know what i'm saying yeah you could, you could be yeah, obstinate be an and not be, you know and not be an asshole so yeah or like, i mean be like one of those like cool assholes where it's like ah, yeah <laughs> that's me it was sort of like, oh, <laughs> me i 100 percent agree with that because it's like you're not giving up on your dream like you want to live a life that's like for you but that's yeah. simple plain or probably basic but to a lot of people like ray say or james like that's something that a lot of people want me myself i want the same thing i just want to work on anime lady have a podcast but have a day job as well have also clients work which i want that to be a, like a full-time job but to do but to go to my day job that i hate with a passion but to go there all the time and just to work for the people and to listen to people that don't do work themselves so it's like very dragging so i'm proud of what you have done it it sounds like it like a big accomplishment and plus for you to just you know grow more and the content that's amazing and everything so that's great thank you and i think it's definitely something that anyone can do uh to be honest like i always tell people who are who quit there's this this one thing that pisses me off to go on a tangent for a second i get really pissed off at people who quit doing youtube who stop doing youtube who are at like three thousand subs or five thousand subs or or the higher we get the more angry i'm gonna get right but there's mm -hmm. just this thing where people stop doing youtube when everything is going well or you know maybe things aren't going perfectly well but it's like why because you do not have to do that there is no dividing line where it's like ah i didn't make it by this point so i have to stop now it's like no yeah. keep keep going because i've been doing this for 10 years I, I have a channel that has like a thousand subs i've been i've made 50 different channels like you have to find what works for you and you have to just keep going Right, like mm -hmm. I, I get really angry when I see people just give up and, and stop doing YouTube. When it's like, hey, even if you only upload once every year, like if, if you if it takes you eleven months to figure out how to edit a video, get it together, do all the things that you want to do, do that and make the best video you can in a year, and then figure out how to do one of those every couple months, and slowly, you know, you get it, you, you get it together. But I don't think there's any reason for people to quit doing youtube or quit trying to you know like in the influencer kind of space or twitch or any of that stuff mm -hmm. like i don't it's not something that you quit doing you know what I mean? it's something that you can easily not easily do but it's something you can pursue you know what i mean it's something that's pursuable and it's attainable and i am really hard-headed about wanting to be a content creator and doing all this stuff but i feel like anyone can be that hard-headed like i just chose to be that way you know what I mean? I just chose that hey, I'm going to do this no matter what, and it's going to have to work out. There's no magic to that me deciding that, right? Like there's there's nothing about me deciding I have to do this that makes it so that I am successful in doing it, right? It's just putting in all of the work and all of the time, and I feel like anyone can do that. But And no one should feel that they have to quit. That's exactly what you just said. It's all the work and all the type of effort. A lot of people just expect it just go out by themselves and just work because yeah. they're like a magic people people think that oh if he could do it i could do it too but do the same mm -hmm. thing no try to copy what he can but put it in your own style and a lot of people don't try to do that a lot of people just try to copy one person and just think it will work like magic no you have to even when i started my current channel that i have right now right when i started my channel i didn't upload a single video until i knew what my thumbnails were going to look like i had my pineapple already 
designed. Like I had an intro already. I had what my backgrounds and my videos were going to look like. I picked out a moving background. I picked out all this stuff. I made the the little popsicle characters and everything. The all that stuff was done already. Awesome. Thank you very much. That's to avoid co copyright stuff for manga panels and stuff. Just to get not have to deal with that. I'll use a little popsicle and a character, and then, bam, I can sidestep uh, copyright problems. That's the only reason that the whole uh, popsicle animation thing is a thing because I don't want to use manga panels in or anime uh, clips that are too long. I have to deal with copyright, so why not, you know, animate a little little thing and it's try smart. to just get by with good narration. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a good you. secret. That's a good strategy, actually. Like, yeah, I can learn from that. Yeah, because I, I've seen a lot of channels get taken down for using manga panels, and every once in a while I'll get a little ballsy and I'll use a couple, but for the most part, like, I don't know. Oop, oop, oop. That oh. Oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, <laughs> Ray was... But yeah, I don't know. Tangent. No, I, no, no that I is. Mean, I, we're we're, we're agreeing fine. with you. You're right. But usually, people who've only gotten to a certain point, and it's actually like a number of subscribers, even if it's not as high as number. But they just straight up quit, even though like it's they've been working for like a year or two years and that sort of love. But the thing is, they don't realize you have to try something different. You kind of have to be adaptable. You have to yes. change what's different to help you grow even more into a better content creator or channel or any kind of like person that you want to be up there. You want to be successful. Literally learn from everything from the, that's from true. your work. That that's that's a good life lesson to learn. Like learn from yep. everything. Learn mm -hmm. from failures. Learn from other people's failures. Learn from victories. Learn from when other people do good. Like instead of being upset when someone that you know you know is doing well, learn from it. Like you can do the same thing. Everyone is starting from the same place yep. to a certain. You know what I mean? Like everyone's starting mm -hmm. from zero to a certain extent. When we're talking about internet stuff, yeah. you know what I mean? Like media. We're all. You have the ability to do a lot. Right. Because I feel like I'm I'm no one special. Like, I don't know what I'm doing half the time and I'm still managing. You know what I mean? It's just been a lot of time. Like, there's a lot of things you pick up since doing YouTube for like 10 years. Right. Like just stuff that I don't realize that I do probably that helps things work out. But that's stuff that people pick up that people can pick up and do a lot with. There's people that started since I've made my channel that are way above where I am right now. You know what I mean? Like. It's, I think that's great because there should be more people in the space doing the same thing that you do. That helps everybody. Mm -hmm. Tangent. Sorry. I, I talk a lot about No, it's, 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 that's, that's part it. of the reason I, I why we asked you to be here on this very yeah, audible be podcast where we talk about this. <laughs> But like, yeah, I, it's, like, it's really nice to hear this stuff because this is how I feel like, you know, we get to know other creators in the space. Like, you know, we're all people, but all, like so often we're just talking to each other as content creators and not as people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So like, I, I, so I love that. So no, I appreciate you talking. Talk. Yeah, of course. yeah, <laughs> yeah. get it off. And I, I feel like some people join YouTube for the wrong reasons. Like they just want to be famous or something or they just want to make money. But it's like, don't give up on your dreams. Like if you like making content, keep making content. Like the success will come when it's ready. I, I'm going to say something that's really, really weird. I have like we talked about real, astros, bro. No, this is going <laughs> to sound, this is going to sound weird. I have like real bad anxiety over like being famous. Like, <laughs> like, cause, cause I'm not right. But like, mm -hmm. I have real bad anxiety over the thought of like getting a certain amount of attention. Right. And I don't know where that comes. That's just me as like a inside person. You know what I mean? Like I'm not the guy who, is trying to be the center of attention all the time. But then how do you reconcile that when you make content, right? When like your whole job is to draw in attention. So I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> right? And what this monster of like, damn, people like pay attention to me. I don't like that, but like, I need people to pay attention for, to me for me to eat every month. <laughs> shit, <laughs> shit, like what do I do? Like I, I'm in that. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with that because mm. I am right in the middle of that monster where it's like, "Hey, everyone! You look around the room, and there's a lot of people there suddenly, and you're like, oh, I appreciate everyone being here. Thank you so much. I love you guys, but I'm trying to shower. Like <laughs> it's a little <laughs> awkward. Let's go to the house. Yeah. Have you, gone to, have you gone? Have you gone to cons before? Yes, I go to cons uh, as vacations with my friends. We all end up going together and staying in like a DMV. Yeah. So we went to E3, I think 2018, I think. 
And has we anybody to, has anybody recognized you and like asked you like a picture or ask you like to hey you know it's nice to meet you I'm a fan. Last year, someone did recognize me at uh, Anime Expo. It was right outside mm -hmm. the My Hero premiere, mm -hmm. uh, and it, I think it was like a, a YouTuber because we did end up talking for like ten minutes about YouTube advice, and I, I probably ended up repeating a lot of the stuff that I said here, where I was like, "Hey, dude, like, <laughs> don't give up. Like, it's, <laughs> look at me, like, you know, power through. It. Yeah, just keep going. Like, there's no reason to stop." But yeah, not I, I was there that year with um the truth and like Afro and them and they got recognized okay. like every ten seconds and yeah. I I was like every time someone in the crowd was like hey is that I was like please don't. <laughs> no, 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 no 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 because because I like I because part of me is like oh that's so like thank God like someone recognized you but also it's like oh social anxiety is telling me right now that like but oh God oh, at dude. the same time you don't show your face on your content all the time so probably that's why people don't always see you and, and yeah. I remember a lot of people don't use Twitter in the slash social media so probably don't know how you look so like i think maybe... i think when people go from sorry to cut you off when people go from my youtube to my twitter it is a very different experience yes <laughs> it is a it's like two very very different people because on my channel i'm always reading like a well-produced script that i wrote down to try to explain <laughs> the thing as best as possible but on twitter i'm just letting random things that i'm thinking at the second fly right and it's nope. sometimes it's weird Sometimes I'm talking, I'm like, hey, why does milk taste the way it does? I'm like, that is not something that you're find on my channel. So, sorry. I mean, uh, that sounds pretty, that sounds like an interesting script you could write, though. That's a four pager right there. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. well, I, I hope you find your middle ground because people like The Weeknd, like, he doesn't do press, he doesn't do interviews or anything like that because he has anxiety. Like, really? Yeah. I didn't know that, huh? But for, yeah. you know what's weird for me? Like, Twitter is probably the only time where I don't get that, right? Like, I don't get that worry of, like, oh, whatever. Like, there have been a few times, though, where I've tweeted something, and I was like, this is getting too many likes and retweets. Delete it. Delete it. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get it. I, want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Um, and I don't know. I'm just really weird that way. Like, I, I don't know. It's, it's a weird decision that I've made to... <laughs> To do YouTube and be that way, be very like, oh no, 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 stay away. I don't think that's normal because me myself, like me on the podcast and everything, I'd be talking the way I talk, you know, openly preaching everything and act funny or or probably not funny, whatever it is. But when I go out with my girlfriend or my friends, I don't, I'm not as open as I am. I'm a bit more close and I'm not as, as. I'm not as very conversational as I am in the podcast or you're doing the videos or the reaction mm -hmm. reviews. You know, I'm so mm -hmm. open. But when I'm out with people, I'm just more like, hey, how you doing? You know, have a nice, lovely day. I'm much better with my vocabulary. I think more. I take my time more. So I like, I act like two different people. And, but, and plus, when my friends, girls, or, or when her friends ask me, you know, he's so different. I'm like, yeah, I just don't like to talk to people, but it's so yeah. different. Like, it, it's like it's a whole really flip side. Purpose. It's not really said? on purpose. It's just kind of yeah. like how it is. I feel the same way. I feel like when I'm around certain people or I'm around people, I act a certain way or I'm very like, I, I don't seem like a solo person. I'm forgetting the word. What is the word that I'm forgetting for? I know there's introvert. Interior, there's ex Thank you very much. I'm not, I don't seem like an introverted person a lot. Like when I'm outside, Mm -hmm. But like once I get back inside, it's like introvert light switch is on, right? No, I feel like that's, yeah. oh, yeah. that's very valid. That's not, that's that's how I operate. I'm I'm very you know extroverted when I need to be, but yeah. uh, on my my time I'm very introverted. You know, like this, it also yeah. takes me a while to warm up to people too. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But I feel like every once in a while there's that person where like you just like all right, all right, we're we're friends. All right. I, Right, definitely right the guys on this podcast right now like the uh, yeah. moment we that's we always did content together the first time it's like the first, oh shit yeah. i love this guy i was like I this, love that. this I like is the guy good, friends are, good <laughs> groups of friends and plus same with ray like our old friends just put us in a group and we're like, hey guys i'll do a podcast y'all like, like anime here <laughs> <laughs> we're like sure sure no problem and then somehow right the podcast i first tried like hey ray I like you. You're cool. Like, yo, Miguel, I like you. You're that too. That went all right. Yeah. What <laughs> contrary to what people believe, doing an online podcast is actually very difficult. Um, yes. And so for us to 
we were just like we like each other that much it's like no we're, we're actually friends we know we're not doing this because you know ah yes the numbers and the fame no it's like we like talking about anime and manga yeah. so we're just gonna have a good time talking about it and we still do <laughs> yeah so. it's exactly what ray said like we don't get a lot of views on the podcast maybe 100 200 averagely i wish it got thousand or, or like more than that i wish that would be the goals but yeah. We just enjoy, we just enjoy talking, having guests. We just enjoy having, you know, just the entertainment time with each other. That's like the best to have. So as long as people watch it, get entertained and laugh in the laugh chat and yeah, say, like, "Why not juice? have a good time Go with your it. friends and like I'm, relax and chill and talk?" Like, yeah, why and not? not even that? We get to talk with cool folks like you who also love yeah. the stuff that we know. It's yeah. just like it is because it's all we love having fresh perspectives and different personalities come in to just. You know, like we have yeah. a common motivator, and you know something we all know about. <laughs> so, yeah. anime, manga, mm-hmm. yeah, comics too, yeah, movies yeah. as well, and plus webtoons as well. I, I miss mean, movies. Same. Oh, uh, we drove crazy. past one of the theaters the other day, and I was like, "Those weeds are so tall in winter." How? Is oh, that? No. <laughs> oh, that would make me so sad. I, I go to the movies sad, so bro. much. I was like, "Oh no!" But no, I mean, I, I've been going. Come play is in theaters right now. It's actually pretty good. See, all of our theaters are closed. Uh, yeah, same here yeah, for us. Seriously? Seriously? They Damn. They got, they got shut down. Yep. So I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, I all of the here so of bad. New York, Manhattan, Queens, all theaters here are closed. So like, they're not playing around here. I yeah, would so, die without the movies, dude. I would die. I am. Hi. This is, <laughs> you see, my I, I, it's happening. A ghost. Wait a I, just wanna, <laughs> I just want. I just want to see Demon Slayer on the big screen, but who knows when that was gonna be happening I, in the yes, big screen? I wanted. I wanted to see Tenet in the movie theater. Couldn't do that. So you know, it's like, come on, man. I, was sorry, little... I want to see Wonder Woman in theater, but I don't think that's going to happen either. Yo, Black Widow too. Not in 2020. I can oh, tell you that. Black Widow, bro. <laughs> like watching everything on your TV is like actually painful. Yes. I have, I have a friend that is the opposite, though, where he would never go to the theater to watch a movie. He's just like, eh, at some point, that's going to be on on demand. <laughs> that dude sound hey, like my dad. You know wait. my dad? That's literally my dad. <laughs> He like has wait. way too He's much like, patience. Uh, that, at some point, that's gonna be on on demand. He's like, that used to be, be my brother too. It. It's annoying. Like my that's brother used to tell me, like, I'll just you wait. Literally. Or, or my brother would say, I could just watch on the fire stick illegally. I'm like, bro, but you don't want to just pay ten dollars or maybe twenty just you to go see a big screen. It's the same experience. Yeah, dude. It's theater the same. The sound, the way every, like everything is way better when you go to the theater. It's I great. Like. Yeah. I, my, my first time going to watch Interstellar, it was me and my girlfriend at the time. We in an empty theater. For some reason here like in my town it was completely empty huh. we went late at night and we sat right in the middle and we watched that whole movie and i sobbed for like half of it because interstell was a really goddamn sad movie if you haven't seen it um mm-hmm. and that was like the best movie experience i think i've ever had in my life right like yeah. ugh, right i could have <laughs> never gotten that from from sitting at home watching it on like whatever size tv like no no it doesn't matter it's I mean, way I better than you plan on building a theater room in my next house so yeah. that is where it might start taking it to the next level like, that's it, like I, that I decided like that's what i'm doing but when i buy my next house i'm building Let's a theater it. in the basement <laughs> same here Game because it, it, yeah, it has to be it, ha- it has to be and plus it's worth it because i've gone with sam to a lot more within the past three four years i've known him and it's just it's it makes the experience better to just go mm-hmm. to watch an anime movie or some type of any movie in a theater with your friends, and then you mm-hmm. see other people jumping on the scenes. You know, when you see such an Avenger scene, when they say, you know, Black Panther being there, nerd, they like those type of experience seeing with a crowd, it just yeah. becomes more I love crowd reactions. I know some people yeah, hate it. Too. No, I love I it. I love like, I, I, I YouTube yeah. search crowd reactions. Like, oh, I'm well, that yeah. person. Oh, I'm not that guy. Like, I, no, I love to be in the theater. theater. And, like, you know, people be like, yeah. When Game of Thrones is airing, I would there's this bar in New York that does a reaction every week, I that. and I would YouTube oh, search I that. Yeah. The, the bar reaction. I would lose it everywhere. I was like, yeah, like just why? And I don't know what it is yeah, about. Gonna... It's such a weird thing, but I love. And I know some people hate it. Some people are like Americans. You can't watch anything <laughs> with them. I mean, like we do that in sports bars oh, and stuff man, like that. No, like, I, just, I, would... I love it, and I. I don't know. I love it. Like, a, I, guess, I think like, it's fun. Experience. It depends on the I movie, though. Like, yeah. I don't want to hear you true. reacting during a quiet place. Like, oh, shut up. That's true. That's true. But 
you would have hated watching that with me. <laughs> me too. Me too. You would hate if I watched. The it. only thing I don't like is when people start having full conversations unrelated to what's going on. If you're talking about what's happening in the movie, because you just you know, like come on now. y'all talking about rent, and that's that's. <laughs> That is very important, but not right now. Not no. while Tom Cruise is running off this bridge. Not right now. What right? I hate the most is when somebody steals your seat and you tell them, hey, that's my seat. Oh. And they say, oh, but somebody stole our seat. I'm like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Go problem. grab your seat. Get up. That's nah. happened to me and Sam almost like five times. And me and Sam, that always happens. So, and we arrive like almost on time or right when the movie starts. And we be talking like, yo, can you just get that's when you got to bust out weird tactics. Like you got to just start dancing in the row. I've never, gotta stand I've, out. I've, never, I've never had that problem. Oh, no. you're so lucky. You would, I've, I have a friend know, that had that happen like, once. Oh, I, like it happens all the time. When, like you know, I woke up, I walk up, somebody's in my seat, and I'm like, "Hey, you in my seat?" And they're like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." And you know, escape from never than being like, "Hey, bro, somebody stole my seat." <laughs> like what? Get out my seat! What are you talking I have, about? Like, I had someone I, tell me, "Oh, well, I wanted to get seats for my family, but these seats were already taken." I'm like, "I don't care. Right? I like, got I my for these because they're the perfect seats. I don't give a shit about you and your family." Hey, we can pick yeah. these now. You best to go. <laughs> it's like even when you can reserve the seats, you could have like, uh, like even when you can reserve the seats. That like, was they'll still take it. They'll I, just I like started doing that though. I don't play that shit. No, no. no. get out of my seat. Like yep. that's like what's the point of reserve a seat when you're saying, "Hey, someone mm-hmm. took your seat." All right, go tell them. Show them the barcode. You you bought seat F15 and F16. That's your seat. So time to get the fuck off. That's it. Man, those seats. I've a few personal, times. Bro. I've a few times had people ask to like switch seats, and it's like that's sure, fine. Like switch seat, if but ask, yeah. don't yeah. ask yeah. like yeah. when the move's about to start. Ask like literally. Five minutes before the start. So okay, like okay, this is cool, no worries. Yeah, and don't split me up with the people that I'm with because you right. are a sociopath if you do that. If you want to sit next to my friends? <laughs> there's something wrong with you. Why are you sitting next to my friends, weirdo? You gonna be sitting next to your friends? Hey, what are we doing here, right now, bro? This dude just wants to sit with my friends. He's trying to trying to say <laughs> something weird. <laughs> it's so strange. For me, I I'm, I'm Miss Movie for you to popcorn now. Dang, see, we're talking about movies. I'm like, Man. I ruined a good sweater with uh, a. <laughs> Bought some popcorn one time. I put butter in it and I was like, oh yeah, cool. And I was sitting there eating it, whatnot, and it leaked right through the the box. For me, I love that. For me, passion, but you know, not that kind. So my uh, next invention is popcorn (laughs) with the chocolate raisins inside. I just got deflated. That's crazy. Chocolate raisins. That's not for me, but you know I get that, popcorn. You know that so we're gonna sit here and act like pineapple doesn't go on pizza, but y'all put in chocolate raisins in the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all right, you know, chocolate covered raisins inside. That's the like they're being Prozac in the turkey. Like, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Uh oh, there he goes, choking. <laughs> no, I've never had you know what to be fair. Let me not judge. I've never had popcorns with chocolate raisins in them why would you ruin the popcorns <laughs> i mean i mean because then you're gonna get if you want a sweet popcorn you know, get like you know, caramel corn know, or something let me give let me tell this is a you know not to not to completely shit on another one but i am um hot tamales the cinnamon candies fresh hot movie popcorn mix them together now mm. man that's good because you got right, the, like coffee, that would... the buttery the sweet the hot mm. i feel like that would maybe slap i can't get behind Chocolate covered raisins in popcorn because if you got hot popcorn, you're just gonna end up with a bunch of raisins Melted. at the bottom and chocolate. chocolatey popcorns. So you're just gonna have a handful of chocolate covered melted raisins covered in butter. That's disgusting. <laughs> but That's- yeah, no, uh, the the hot tamales and popcorn. Mm, I missed the movie theater, and I feel like that's that <laughs> probably mentally sounds more disgusting but i feel like i could imagine that tasting better though mm-hmm. i feel like i could have that and be like oh wait a minute might have yeah. something. Might it have is something. good right? I, I, like, see and i only have it at the movie theater like that's the only place i'll get it because it's like that's the experience booster where else do they sell hot tamales <laughs> <laughs> i don't think I've, my quarter store has ever sold hot tamales i'm bad see nah, I, my, so my bodega like, is lifesaver i oh, but you got some of the best sandwiches bro they never ran out of supplies like during COVID. Like, my bodega. <laughs> when people were like, toilet paper, what am I supposed to do? I haven't wiped. And I'm like, damn, the bodega's right there. Like, if you just know where to look, they ne- they have all the rolls. Charmin is like keeping me clean. You know, like, 
is oh, accessible man. and they never raise the prices or anything it keeps, like oh, god bless it keeps Bodega. leaving the ass juice clean that's how i gotta be yes that bringing it back to ass juice of course <sighs> you see yeah i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we'll be having a great conversation in the beginning. Nah, of the and then you but you know, he gave me the opportunity. He gave me charming. He gave booty. So I'm like, all right, ask booty, clean. Boom. Your booty. That's literally the logic of <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes you can just let those go. Yep. You know, let it go. <laughs> like I said by that, but I'll be saying some stuff on podcasts or or why not? Like, yeah. yep. Not uh, everyone not everyone's gonna watch this two hour type of episodes if it's press or like that like hey press if you want to look at this good video check this one here check this time calls don't check the whole video because yeah we saw the b says a wild shit i mean they might like that more wow what personable shit fellows yes Mm. Uh, Mm. damn next question please (laughs) no but i do have a question though um since you said that you do your script and everything like that how long does it take you to do a regular script it really depends just on like what's going on in my brain, right? Like for me, a video, I always think I have to write four pages if, for any video I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be four pages because that, I mean, let's be real, is like around the 10 minute mark mm-hmm. with how my cadence and everything is and how I talk. So I wanna have like at least four pages. Um, and that could take anywhere from like an hour, really, or like days or weeks. Because sometimes I'll do something and really my process is I, I have Google Docs, right? Right. And I just come up with ideas throughout the day or at any time. And I always make sure, okay, open Google Docs, type it in, leave it. I don't have to expand on this right now. At some point, yep. I'm going to remember, mm-hmm. hey, I have this video title that I wrote down Wednesday. <laughs> sure, mm-hmm. let's let's write this script out. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I end up just thinking and trying to figure out like all my research and all that stuff. And boiling it down into the script but it so i've had it take an hour to write a four page script right where i really really want know what i want to say and what i want to get across and i have all the information in front of me and whatnot but yeah there's times where i'll i'll write five pages or six pages and then i'm like what is what <laughs> what i feel like the, for the last four pages i've been saying the same thing like over and over again i'm throwing this away um so it really is like a weird variable who knows, right? Like, mm-hmm. if I have everything I need to do a video and I am not stupid that day for some reason with how I'm typing things, yeah. like, maybe two to three hours is, like, a good time frame for me to have a video written. But then it's, like, recording it, it's going to take, like, an hour because I do a whole bunch of takes because I just I stutter all over the place and I'm, I'll mess up takes and I want to get the right take. And then editing is just who knows right like who knows how long an edit's gonna take depending on yep a hundred different mm-hmm. things right I, mm-hmm. it takes some t- forever it takes yeah. a lot yeah yeah sometimes i'm really glad when editing uh writing takes a long time because it's like oh i don't got to worry about anything i'm just thinking right now all of it is coming from me my brain i'm typing i'm enjoying it i don't have to be cutting together stuff right now and looking for clips and mm-hmm. writing is really really peaceful mm-hmm. i think i really enjoy it Nice. Do you ever want to write a book? I don't think so. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Okay. Like, um, how about like your own storyboard, like your own version of a manga, of your idea? I feel like I would do my. I feel like I would do like a web comic type thing. Oh, web okay. comic! Cool. Like, I have, I have something. I have something like there's this website where you can just put down like all your ideas for something. Uh-huh. This is a website mm-hmm. called Miro or something. Uh, and I have like more than I should of like a story on there. Like mm-hmm. more than I reasonably should. Like very, very detailed. Like here's this world and here's how the world was created. And here is like these characters and all this stuff and this setting and stuff. So I, I have something, but I don't know like. If you want to take what... it somewhere. Yeah, I just don't know what I want it to be or if I want it to be like a like a video series or if I want it to be like a D&D campaign like Ooh. it I don't know what I want it to be but it very well could be like a, a web comic kind of thing because it started off as me being like I'm gonna make a My Hero Academia video series where I just do like a what if series in the fantasy universe I just somehow make up a story and figure up a story 
that fits in all the fantasy universe lore that we have and make that into a video series. And then as I was like figuring out that I had to do that, I'm like, well, then that means you have to like understand this like non-existent fantasy universe of My Hero Academia. You have to understand like the politics and all this weird stuff. And I was like, okay, so sure, shit. I was just typing down, this is how the world has to have happened and all this stuff. And it became something very different. <laughs> it just went somewhere <laughs> way different. Um, yeah. So I don't think I would ever do a book, like a regular book per se, but maybe a web comic. Like if I found a good artist, because for me, paneling is really important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. It's like everything for me. Like even if the art isn't the best, that that's fine. If you have really, really interesting paneling, yep. I feel like that pushes your like your manga so much further. It, like you have good writing and good paneling and everything else will solve itself. It'll figure itself out. You're gonna get better at drawing eventually. Mm -hmm. All that stuff is gonna iron itself out. But if you have good like paneling, people know like, all right, there's something in this person's vision of how the story is going to be shown or represented that I'm going to stick with, right. right? Despite however their art might look. So I, I would think about doing a, a web comic or a, I can't really say a manga, I guess, but That's I would dope. think about it, especially writing one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I see, for... it's because I see that you have the kind of mindset to write. So I'm like, when most people have a you know, passion to write, you know, maybe they want to draw a book. I mean, you know, write a book or like Sam said, you know, a comic too. So that's great. I mean, and, you know, I'll be honest, like, that's what I hope is, like, the next step for a lot of, like, I don't want to say, you know, critics, but people who review, like, movies and, you know, anime and manga for, like, I hope that's, like, the next step in that creative process for most of them. It's like, make okay, I want to go make something of the genre that I talk about all the time. Like, I really do yeah. hope that's the next step because that's how we're going to get, you know, better stories, better ideas, you know, but, like, people want to make them better than what they saw or, you know, emulate what they grew up respecting. Yeah. Like, after I, that's what I hope there's only so much that you can talk about other things mm -hmm. at a certain point mm -hmm. before you want to make something you know what i mean like there yeah. I, I can talk about every manga in the history of jump ever from now until whenever but like I'm, at some point i'm kind of going to want to make something like mm -hmm. whether it's 100%. just for myself or whether it's like i give it to other people i like at some point i'm going to kind of want to see like okay like what could if i was trying to do this or if i was trying to write a story of any kind like what would it be like just what would it be and i and i challenge people honestly just write something mm -hmm. for yourself keep yeah. right go in your google docs and just be like sure why not i'm gonna come up with some story and some world and take it as far as you want to take it and read it and see like what it is what it's like what is your you, you know what i mean like what are what is your fantasy world like what is your what are you gonna think up Right? What are you going to come up with? And then what are you going to do with that if you like it? Because then you're like, uh oh, now I have this thing that I like that I have to do something with. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, like weird. I would, I would love to write a script for like a horror short. I knew it. I knew it was going to say. Oh, that's like a very I'm, good a, idea. I'm obsessed yeah. with the zombie apocalypse, so I want to write my own version of that, make my own rules and stuff like that for the zombies. Like I really want to do it. I went to school for. I minored in psychology and I majored in uh, media arts, which was just like film and all okay. that stuff. But okay. the reason that I went to school, oh, awesome. The reason that I went to school was to make horror movies. That's like what my intention was when I went to school. I was like, okay, so watch this. I'm gonna minor in psychology and then I'm gonna know what makes everyone scared and, and terrified. And I'm gonna know how to like light a movie set and direct and whatnot. And everyone is screwed. Um, and then somewhere <laughs> in that three year process, I was just like, oh, but YouTube videos is like, I don't have to set up lighting and no, go away. That's um, me no, right that, now. That's... Like, I'm doing exactly that, what you're doing with YouTube, but I hope to turn Anime Lily into a studio in the future, like where it could, yes. where, where it could produce good anime movies not the ones that we've been that we have gotten over the years but actually has people that have this creative mindset to make good uh live live adaptation mm -hmm. that's good of anime yeah because we deserve them yeah like my hero one being done up by warner brothers i think is being done and like who knows if it could be good because who knows is behind the helm but if it's people that actually know the series, read the series, and yes. actually have the passion for them, but mm -hmm. also has a creative yeah. art, then the maybe that could have a better chance of being done in the U.S. Yeah. and have its own spin. I think My Hero 
I think the like the number one thing that they should do for my hero is one of those like 3D uh animation movies. You know, like Lupin just got like yeah. um, Dragon oh. Quest. Yeah. I feel like my hero would thrive so hard. Like Lupin? Yeah. With one of those 3D animated movies that is like very, very, very good 3D. Like the you know, Detective Pikachu S 3D animation, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it would really, really thrive in it. Because I don't know how you Sure, you can do all might in live action, right? It's just going to be a dude. It's not going to. There's not going to be like. <laughs> it's, it's a guy. Yeah, but, it's, 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 it's not going to work live space. action. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you can 100 percent keep everything about all the my hero characters that everyone loves in a 3D kind of animation movie, mm-hmm. and I feel like the art style 100 percent lends itself to that because when I read the first chapter of My Hero Academia, I was like, "What? Is, this is like Big Hero Six esque. What is? I really love this. Like, what is this?" Um, and I've always kind of had that in mind for my hero academia. I always had like this weird, like big hero six kind of, and I'm not even a huge fan of that movie. Right. But there's like some, some similar vibe that mm-hmm. lean, that makes me think that my hero would do really, really well as a 3d animated movie over like even better than the regular 2d animated movies, even better than any like live action movie. I think doing a 3d animated is like, it's just, I don't know. You know, like everyone thinks this idea that I had. Is no, a so idea. like, uh, so I would like, have to see it. I would yeah, have to see a I trailer. Like yeah, something. Have, have, have you seen? Yeah. Have you seen? Uh, there's this guy on Twitter that makes the like them into three like those style models. No, I've seen that. No, and it is fantastic. And I was, I'm really wishing that I knew them by heart right now, but. I'm gonna look for it uh, while we're just doing this. It's all good, but no. But, since yeah. I mean, since we hit it already, I mean. We're going to talk about my hero. I mean, you know, we can yes. start talking Uh-oh. about my hero. Uh-oh. <laughs> Somebody get in trouble. Oh, no. It's just, it's like, <clears throat> we we all know here that My Hero Academia is very well done. We're, we're big yes. fans. You know, we're talking about it all the time. So I guess I just, um, what my question is, so when you first got into My Hero, um, like, what were your, like, initial thoughts about the series because you know i mean I'm sure everybody was kind of like oh wow you know like this kind of seems similar to some other stuff that we've seen but it's also different um you know it, that first I, episode of my hero hit different i was reading the manga mm-hmm. uh and i remember i had this i have my friend paris right he reads i feel like he somehow reads every manga that is in existence that's somehow. sam that's sam is that also yeah, that's sam that's sam Sam, yep. uh, That's awesome. Sam I've never Reed. met anyone else with that nickname. Sam, oh, never mind. Sorry, I read that wrong. Holy shit. That was weird. Sam reads about... I was like, you're, you're Paris? <laughs> Are you Paris? <laughs> Are you him the whole time? I'm dumb. It's all right. I'm self um, If you check Sam's... If you check Sam's... Uh, Any list, um, which if you do, he I, reads a lot of books everything. and ass. Um, he reads about oh, 700, um, 700 series that he has updated. Jesus, I love that. That's on a weekly, I monthly. I don't know what it is, but I'm, he's damn. currently reading 700 series. God damn. I have <laughs> brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bigger brain than mine. Shit, I'm hurt. I have some time. Shut up, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, but, you don't sleep as much as me, so, like, you read a lot. At all? He you sleep, man? That's what it he feels don't sleep. Like, man. That's what it feels I worked, like. I got work in the morning, and I got school at nights, and, and I still read. And plus he has, an, um, plus he has anime lately, so he reads in between. Yeah, he's reading right now. <laughs> I mean, actually, you know what? I actually probably just busted him, because he probably was. Probably oh, yeah, right I now. was reading. The comments. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Back to the question. I, I have this friend named Paris who reads everything in uh-huh. existence. Uh, and he, anytime there's anything good on his radar, he's like, read this, read this, read this, read this, That's read nice. this. And My Hero Academia was one of those things. And it had to have been like, it was early on. Like he, he just reads everything that starts. Mm. Uh, and I really liked it. And I think as soon as I saw the first like color spread, that first like page, that's it. That's it for me. That's it. I love all these colors. I like how these characters look. Uh oh, this is about superheroes. That's it. I'm done. You got me. You get. I'm sold. Whatever you do now, I am sold because I love Marvel. I love like comics. I love superheroes. I, I had Spider Man bed sheets growing up. You're hey. inspired by <laughs> Spider Man. You got me. You got Spider Man in the first chapter. His silhouette. You got me. There were so many things in that first chapter of My Hero Academia where I was like, oh. Oh, I'm gonna read all of this. I'm gonna read every bit of this. Uh, and then once it started getting darker, once my hero academia started getting darker, I was like, wait a minute, 
and we have adult themes. <laughs> it was enough. It was that. Golly. Uh, What's your favorite arc? My, oh, my yeah. favorite arc is My Bell in Academia. Me okay. too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Will this arc, like will this current arc top that if it ends well for you? If it has to end well, and there has to, I feel like, I feel like for it to not feel like the ending of the arc dragged, mm -hmm. there has to be something else that happens before the arc ends, which I'm I'm thinking is going to be Dobby stuff, right? See, but yes. like if it's not if nothing else happens between like the ending of Shiggy and Deku's fight and the end of the arc, people are going to be like, well, the end of that arc dragged. The end of that arc, he ended it with like Ochako and Toga. You know what I mean? Like, right. I already see people saying that, like, oh, this this arc is it's Wano pacing now. Like, what's going on, Horikoshi? I was like, no, no, there's no, definitely going to be something else. I Don't like worry. Be else. Soon as blue, soon as my boy Best Genius shows up, it's all fine. <laughs> That's the other thing. That little genius <laughs> exactly. genius. I was like, what are we doing <laughs> here? Out of nowhere, I was just like, that threw me off yeah. guard because I totally forgot about it. Even though I just been read, even though I've been reaches my hero, uh, my hero academia. Vigilantes, Vigilantes. and yeah. then that's when Ray told me like those things that's on his jet cable. on his plane is the cables from his thing before I'm like oh sure so you're right and then that's when Ray confirmed it, like yeah that's Blue Jet like and then I clicked me as when I did the reaction I saw, it instantly was like best genus better not pull up to the war in a black turtleneck sweater because <laughs> I am going to die if he does, <laughs> if he does I, that I'm no. like yo Superman is that you <laughs> he'd be like you thought you killed me bitch <laughs> he'd be like he'd pull up like Uzi He'd be like, yo, I'm doomsday for your time, my guy. <laughs> uh, best team is pulling up to piss off all for one is the best thing ever. That's going right? to be hilarious. Because it's a real big flip on what happened to Camino, where he's just like, oh, surprise. Hey, yeah. hold your chest. Yep. I like that. I like the idea of that. I do too. Like, I, that's what I'm, I'm hoping that happens. I'll be very honest. Like, I need that and the Dobby stuff on top of You know that. what? I, I think those it. two things also go really well together because Genus is only allowed to be around still because Dobby was like, sure, I don't care. Like, yeah. this isn't, this isn't, if, if this is him, if this isn't him, I don't care, Hawks, because no, I have the edge up on you. But if D Genus comes and ruins Dobby's little performance or whatever, that's such a big L for Dobby because it's like, you allowed this to happen. You were like, oh, whatever, Hawks should have been worrying about me. Uh, he doesn't know who I am. <laughs> y'all about to eat ass when y'all see. Uh, <laughs> you know, and then Gina comes like, like, and is like, yeah, he's like, oh, is that Endeavor down there? <laughs> like, my, like, my Shoto and Endeavor. Uh -huh. yeah, like, is like, that my I'm about to fucking whole shit up. <laughs> Yeah, and then Genus just comes in and is like, I'm back. And everyone gets, he gets all the clout instead. That would be I magnificent. Legit would love I would scream. Same. Because Dobby deserves, as much as I want the toy reveal, I also want him to take an, like, take an L somehow a from me. That L. Like, I Especially if it's involving Genus. Because it's his fault. Uh, with Dobby, he's he hasn't taken like a single L the whole they He wanted him, he built him as like the cool bad guy that could do no wrong. Like, Bro, I can't it's, wait for him to fall on his face. It's, it's funny because, in my opinion, I feel like Dobby has done nothing but just lose. The whole really? <laughs> yeah, I feel like Dobby, like, like he let Hawks get away when I feel like he should have like been able to kill Hawks. But, but like a lot of the things Dobby does feel like he's doing it on purpose to certain exactly. Extent. And that's what it's like. Right. He's like, I meant for that to happen. <laughs> Part of it is like, oh uh, yeah, you know what? I don't really care about anything. So any of my fuck ups are like whatever. <laughs> it's like whatever, <laughs> sure. Like, with you guys. But I feel like happen. Dobby constantly is like, eh, yeah, sure, whatever. And it's like, <laughs> no, what do you mean? Sure, whatever. You chase them. Should you care? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, nah, I don't care. I'm just going to talk mean, to my dad one of these days. He's a psychopath. He's a psychopath. Yeah, he doesn't that is care very valid. anything. He doesn't <laughs> actually feel emotions about anything. He doesn't have rational decision making. <laughs> no, not at As all. long as there's anarchy and chaos, he yeah. wins. He, I, that's it. I feel so bad, though, let's say for gentle who has to be home right now or shopping for vegetables or whatever he's doing. Making license plates. Get very, very upset or getting ready to premiere his next video. Getting very, very upset that Dobby is about to take over the national broadcast. Yep. To do I'm whatever he's about review. to do. And he's going to be I'm like, in the review. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, be yeah, because I said that in the review, the, they'll be coming out tomorrow. And I said it where is that Dobby is is going to use skeptic to tr to show the true colors of his father endeavor of show how he was as a bad person from the past and ruin his and, and ruin his image. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Exhibit A. Exhibit I'm... B. <laughs> Toya. Exhibit B. Mm. Hey, I don't shoot Rocky twice. Uh, wow, we got a lot to catch up on. Commercial yeah. break. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, I, hope... I believe that's going to happen with about Dobby and everything. And I love what's, with what's going on with Toga as well. Like, all these characters that's been building up from the past from the past 80 plus chapters has been going so good and i feel like he's is in his bag like his the art has been amazing those those the amount of spreads those spreads yeah has been fantastic god i've loved all of them i mean i just i feel like this arc will be like my favorite arc i mean even even if somehow he completely drops the ball on the end i feel like this arc will still have been my favorite and i, and I just don't see that happening i don't see him fumbling his bag i really don't, I don't, yeah. I don't think so either I, I think this is what he's been building to for a very very long mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. and i mean there's been periods where like there's been arcs that come by and i'm like why is this arc placed here like why do we need this right now we don't need this arc right now like uh 1a versus 1b i remember yep. Reading that I hate like mm-hmm. this arc, I, don't, I don't hate it it was just out of it was out of place yeah i was like yeah. i don't hate this arc but i don't feel like i need to be reading this right now mm-hmm. i don't feel like this arc needs to be happening right now like there's why why do you feel that way because it just one it comes after the endeavor arc right so you're you're mm-hmm. on this weird kind of like high off of all the endeavor stuff and for me i felt like the endeavor arc opened the series up into like we're we're getting into the pro heroes and whatnot now mm-hmm. we're going to get into like more of the open world of what's going on in my hero academia and then we went back to the classroom right away yeah and i don't have an issue of classroom marks per se like i i'm not one of those people who's like oh school stuff in a series called my hero academia like, oh god but it was just it was just where it was placed but then when my film academia happened i kind of started to get like okay that probably needed to be placed there because you have to establish like <clears throat> stuff with one for all you have to establish, I, you have to establish certain stuff in certain places i kind of um, wish that they had pushed my villain academia right up against the endeavor arc because then you like you had this amazing close out for the heroes and then now you're just on the villains uh yes. and then they do class 1a versus 1b because then you can learn more like you see the villains have gotten very powerful and they've had their plus ultra and now the kids y'all need to do something <laughs> y'all, y'all gotta grow see I, that's that's the thing that's why that's why i think 1a 1b was before that because Horikoshi has showed you like his stories about everyone. Mm-hmm. So yes. it's not just about 1A, it's about both of them. And both both um classes have something to do when we get to the, the villain arc. Mm-hmm. They have their their piece um when they fought against the Liberation Army. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it was placed well. Like we needed to know more about the 1B students, how they've upgraded their powers from the last time we saw them. So I thought it's well placed. But I think the only alternative like way that it could have been placed is placing it after my villain academia right because then you kind of have 1a versus 1b lead into the war arc right or or placing it after or around the endeavor agency arc right like mm-hmm. maybe placing it after my villain academia then having the endeavor agency arc and then the war arc because then you kind of have it where you you understand that the villains are a very pressing problem mm-hmm. and then you have the students training and that makes you a little more invested in like oh okay these guys are training for something like something is happening and the students are now fighting each other and training deku's getting you know, the quirk stuff but see the reason that you couldn't have done that is then you have like back-to-back arcs where deku unlocks quirks and right, that right. is no no so it's yeah. like as, as we've gotten into the war arc i've started to see that like Horikoshi definitely placed everything where it is for a very good reason, mm-hmm. and it has to be where it is. Like, arcs that are just like, why are we randomly going into this arc now? No, like, it's there because he's like, I'm going to get to that. Don't worry about it. I'm yeah. Right there Basically. for a little bit. Um, yeah, because you, you can't ride high too long. Like, pacing is yeah. so important to mm-hmm. any story, and you can't ride it too high because when you get that dip, people are going to really feel that dip if they've been riding that high for so long. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you and have then, to split it up. And then I think Hori also does stuff really really specifically like mirio mirio's existence right yes. he's like okay i have to establish this character exists i have to have deku meet him in the first year and i have to have him do some cool stuff but i'm gonna have this war arc where shig is gonna be in this pod and if i have a guy that can just go through the basement I, mm-hmm. we can't do this we can't yeah. all the drama is gone so i have to get rid of his power or whatever we got to do that so it's like 
there are certain things that happen in the story that I'm like, ah, I see Hori where you were thinking, where you were like, ah, mm-hmm. man, no. sorry, fam. <laughs> like, you it's like, it. hey, yeah. well, I got, I thought up something else, so you gotta go. <laughs> around for this thing later yeah is definitely a big thing of hori and uh, my favorite thing that hori does is Chekhov's gun right where he's like i'm just gonna put this thing here and i'm gonna show you that i put it here mm-hmm. walk away from it and when yep. it comes back you're gonna be like oh my god i forgot that he left that on the table and it's, genus is a really good example of that yeah um, there's a hundred really good examples of that but i <clears throat> i i i live off of looking for those things in yeah. my right like that's half of my theories are me being like wait a minute is this something that we're just left on the table what is this what is it that's what great is this? that's did that's you ra- did you intend for me to see this because i did <laughs> that is exactly like ray and sam and plus james too at times where they always be like hold up we spoke about this a couple weeks ago um this is back from where you know of where we spoke about you know five chapters ago i'm like oh shit did i yeah. hold i did not know that hold up i'm gonna look back you have to like read uh my hero that way especially because hori is such a big fan of oda right and if like you, you read one piece like you know that oda i mean he yeah, you can the panels being cluttered or whatever but stuff is <laughs> hidden in those yeah. panels like, like they're small <laughs> but they're hidden even though i hate yeah. that that's one reason why i kind of pause in reading but like he does good on those little small like nugget foreshadowing this like hey look at what i'm gonna talk about 25 chapters later or maybe even 500 chapters later which he has done which is like somehow people on the interweb have a great memory much better than most people but they're such I, great fans that they were here he spoke about this you know 25 days ago yeah i literally call when someone br- like brings back some great foreshadowing in my friend group, we literally all just say, "Oh, that's a good Oda." Like it's to that point where when it, when something gets called back from a long time ago, and I remember it, and my mind is blown, it's just like, "Oh, that's an Oda." He just, "Oh, oh, Hori is pulling an Oda right now." Uh oh, <laughs> pulls up from two hundred chapters ago, or he's gonna tease something in chapter seven and bring it up now, and I'm gonna be like, "Oh, we were supposed <laughs> to know that already." Yeah, because um I think around chapter two sixty is when the arc started and everything. And me, James and um, Sam and Ray, we all say, Imagine imagine blue genus show up. And then twenty something plus chapters later, we're like, Yo, blue your blue genus just show up. What the hell? So like it's just funny how we all talk about theories and everything, and then boom, it happens. I feel like Hori definitely like subconsciously somehow seeds hints to certain things that are gonna happen. Like, mm-hmm. because there's predictions that happen that it's like, that's a really weird prediction, but then that'll happen. That thing will happen in the series. And you're like, huh? Like, I wonder if there's a hint to that, that I didn't realize. Like, I, I remember before my villain academia came out, um, I was talking to a bunch of other, my hero YouTubers. We were like in the stream and we we're all like, oh, you know, it'd be really cool. Like a villain POV arc. Mm. Yeah. And that I remember about that with really Cypher and Kid and a couple other people. It seems really weird that that happened, and then the next yeah, arc was later. Academia. But I feel like there had to have been something like in the manga or something that like was teasing that that was gonna ha- that had us feeling that way. That had us thinking like this story is gonna like it's it has to shift right. Like it has to shift to the villain's perspective at some point because we're missing. They're just not existent. What are they? What are they doing? Um, I don't know. It's my hero predictions are really weird because of the amount of hints I feel like that Horikoshi packs mm-hmm. into the story. Like none of the hints are baseless. For I mean, me, nothing. for me, I thought there would be an entire villain arc the moment that I met Stain. Honestly, valid. Because when we get the league together, the way that Horikoshi writes again, True. this story is about everyone. Yes. So it's like when you show that um, Shigaraki is the exact parallel to Deku it makes sense that there would be an entire arc where we follow Shigaraki in the league and what he's building. I agree. I love the parallel to Shigaraki and, and Deku. Oh, I feel like it's amazing. That, I feel like the, the parallel between Shigaraki and Deku is partially like the, the ruler by which you're going to judge how much someone loves my hero academia. Right. Because I feel like the people that really, really love the parallel between Shigaraki and Deku are the people that are like, super into my hero academia right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. whereas people who don't really care so much about the parallel between deku and shigaraki are just kind of like a eh, generic shonen eh, and i hate like, that is that i love it i love it once in a timeline and when people like you or kid or a lot of people say 
when you read my hero, read my hero. It's like it's like there's so much in depth story, character, and like. But Ray no one likes to hear that. Right? And because no when Ray and James brought it up like two weeks ago, when it shows you about the hero society and about the cops, it's so similar to what's going on with our society and world. Yes. You know what the you know what Black Lives Matter and plus all that's going on right now. It gets into his bag. Like Hori really does touch on actual like important mm-hmm. topics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it, it comes off sometimes as like society. You know, I, I have seen the joke on on Twitter, but like Hori is, I mean. This smart to do that. Like he's writing a manga set in a modern day world that's happening like concurrently with stuff that's going on in real life. Like it's very smart to do that, especially with such a big series that's going to reach so many places. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like he he's smart to just kind of include like parallels between like not just you know made up worlds, but our world. It's yeah, like you know stuff making that a you comp- actually think about like, mm-hmm. like stuff that you, that like p- stuff that people who can you know equate and see themselves in. It's probably gonna do a little bit better, you know. <laughs> so yeah, relatable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, another parallel that I really love in my hero is Deku and Bakugo. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, their okay. relationship is a very simple thing in in shonen, but mm-hmm. I think Bakugo is different from every secondary MC that I've ever seen. Like, he's my favorite character in my hero, actually. I love Bakugo a lot. I feel like at first I didn't really appreciate him because I'm like, oh, I don't like these characters that are always like. Like, leave my main character alone, goddammit. Leave my character alone. Stop. Mm-hmm. Um, but after a while, once you get like, oh, this guy is just, you're just insecure, man. You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> just like everyone always told you you can do it. And you're like, wait a minute, though. Like, this kid's not supposed but to be. But what if I can't? <laughs> what if but I can't? I just hate it how a lot of people call him unstable or, or he just a like, he's not really unstable. He just has a, a type of personality that screams. I mean, people yeah. that are smart as hell. And, and like knows how to you know do stuff smart stuff and everything and they scream and they have a bad habit of screaming but that's just a personality like bako is probably one of the most like he's he's more stable than shoto he's he's the best tactician at ua to me period that's probably also true just because of the way that he fights he always has to think about Mm -hmm. i have to get i'm gonna get behind you there Watch this. Watch how I'm going to go from that angle in the sky that you're not thinking yeah. of. I'm going to be behind you, and you're not even going to... You know, I also think that's based on his quirk. Because let's be real, his quirk is also really difficult to oh, use yeah. in the way yeah. that he uses it. Let's be, yeah. let's be real. The way uh, that he uses it is really smart. Yeah, it's really smart. Because he could be like a liability to everybody around him when he's fighting with a group, but he's not. You've no. never once seen him have that problem, period. Never. You know, the person who causes explosions everywhere is like, oh, I can't fight in a team with that right. guy. Like, no, <laughs> self-contained. Like, exactly. So when people don't think about that. I'm like, no, this quirk is actually really difficult to use, too. So yeah. yeah. So yeah. you said that Bako's your favorite character, or, or who's your top three? Me. Uh, I would say Hawks. Interesting. Uh, as number yeah. one. Oh, number one. Oh. Ever since Hawks was introduced, like I feel like I was, it was just a bomb. I remember when Hawks was first introduced. Everybody was like, ah! <laughs> "Yo, Twitter was like, yo, his best boy, he's this, like he's hot." Yeah. I'm like, he was just introduced, yo. Put your, put your Every dick in your pants. Was so cool to me from the very first time. I'm he's like, awesome. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Because the whole basically was like, you know what? If I took Hawkman and Flash combined them, they'd be cool as hell. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> the, the, the fur. Yeah. Like, everything Yo, he's so ass. smooth with that. The, the, the little dark, like, kind of edgy Edzor backstory and stuff. And then him being friends of, like, Dobby? My other, <laughs> <laughs> my other, like, oh, this I love this character. He's a really cool, mysterious character. Oh, of course everyone's going to love Hawks. Uh-huh. And he, he helps Endeavor out, and everyone goes from, like, he helps everyone stop hating Endeavor. Like, mm-hmm. people, I, I feel true. like people don't understand how much heavy lifting Hawks actually did with his wings to propel Endeavor out of being so hated. Because mm-hmm. I feel like if he would just did everything uh, him, himself that arc, people would like just they just be like whatever, right? Like <laughs> or he still, still right. same old endeavor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For some reason, like Hori was able somehow Hori was able to create Hawks in an arc and then have him serve a purpose in an arc, and it was perfect. Like his per- mm-hmm. his purpose was serve. Like he got Endeavor out those trenches of hate, um, and Endeavor definitely helped. But so it's Hawks, Deku. I'm gonna put Deku as number two. Uh, cause I'm a purist. I love Deku very much. Deku is, I feel like Deku is the perfect protagonist for the series. Agreed. And for number three, it's, it's hard. 
is hard because I'm definitely putting Shigaraki there. What am I talking about? It's not hard. I'm definitely putting <laughs> Shigaraki there. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, and I feel like it has to be Shigaraki and Deku that are fighting for two and three, right? Mm-hmm. But Hawk's number one, as long as he doesn't lose his wings forever. So and then, then Hawk... you said a good question. I'm sorry. A good statement about Deku that he's a purist. Because, you know, the timeline, a lot of people like to compare best MC or how Deku likes to cry a lot. How do you feel about that? Because a lot of people like to just say... I feel like Deku is a child and he's going to cry. Thank you. Um, he's human. Yeah, he's he's an emotional boy. I was emotional when I was 16. Same. I cried and I was mad. Like, sometimes I got so mad that instead of doing, like, punching someone or doing anything, I would just go off and cry and be like, ooh, I don't want to get in trouble so bad that I'm going to... Like, so I don't know. Maybe I have some kinship with the over-emotional teenager, right? Um, but I feel like Deku is definitely the <clears throat> best main character for the series. Like, I don't understand when people say it's like Mirio or anyone else. It's like Deku embodies everything the series I'm is sorry. about. If Mirio was the main character, my hero would have been so boring. Yeah, it would yeah. be so boring. Like, it would be enjoyable for a couple right. of seasons. Right, it would be for a little like, bit. Oh, where's the sauce? Like, where no. is the actual... what? Because where's where's the struggle? I mean, so are we going to go back in time to when he didn't know how to use his quirk and then that would be the base of my hero? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I what I hate like the most good. What I hate the most is when people say about Deku of who he should have been like Batman, not gotten a quirk. And when they say that he should got his own gadgets and everything become like that, I'm like... Boy, That's... he would have died a long time ago if that was the case. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't read a Batman comic. I don't I'm just yeah, literally, don't read Batman. Don't read it's Batman. 100% the better version of uh-huh. that thing that you're asking for. Exactly. Batman is rich. Like, no. legitimately. Literally, if you want to see a kid that's like Batman. And white. He's fine. <laughs> Or if you want to see a kid that's like Batman that does the same thing that Batman does, go read Nightwing or go read his son that's called Damian yeah. Wayne, Robin. There's he does the same thing. There's a hundred different comics you can go read that aren't My Hero Academia where a character is going to be using gadgets mm-hmm. and yes. not getting folded across the sidewalk. Like Death- <laughs> <laughs> if he was trying to use gadgets in My Hero Academia, he would be God, splattered. He... I mean, Imagine trying stuff. to fight Decay with boots. What are you doing? What? <laughs> Don't be fighting the decay without legs. Yeah, what yeah. are you doing? I can get away from decay because I can. Like, have you have you noticed that Horikoshi didn't introduce like a, an all gadget hero? <laughs> and he not, did. Not that there, that there aren't like, I, I think the example that people love to use is uh, Knuckle Duster from Vigilantes, right? Where they're like, oh, like he's he's a quirkless hero. Who, but it's like, well, once you get to Vigilantes, oh, you understand that there's a little yeah. bit of a. There's, there's a little bit of a handicap there. There's, there's a big gap. <laughs> there's a big gap there. between him and Deku. Uh huh. You know, mm-hmm. he's like all my size. What are you doing? Yes. He's this dude is huge. Yeah, like my dude is like the size of a Hulk, just not yeah. Hulk. Yeah. Oh, he's like the perfect example. He like the thing. Pain. So like to not not give like specific spoilers, but could you imagine him at his size with his, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's insane. He would be, he would be no, so broken, bro. Awesome. But that's also a big anime trope. Yeah, it's always it's, like it the, he's faster than he looks. Like, go away! I yeah. hate that so yeah. much. <laughs> you know, in every anime fight where it's like he's faster than he looks, it's like shut up, Goku. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. He looked fast. It's, it's like, like sir, oh. you were literally just running that fast, if not faster, a minute yeah. ago. <laughs> like, huh? No <laughs> question. So, side question: Did you read the most latest Dragon Ball Super chapter of last month? I think I did. Where the one of Goku was stupid enough to give him a sensor bean? Yes, I remember complaining about that actually yeah. on Twitter before the actual chapter I came did. out. I did. I, I mean, I read shocked. It. Really? I mean, I, I don't. Shocked. I was like, I didn't think he was that stupid. Still, like, I thought he got point, better. Like, what are you himself? doing, dude? The and entire like, universe is at stake. All of creation is at stake. What are you doing, like? And and for a second, I I was kind of like, oh okay, Goku, you're giving him a sensu bean so you can make him your bitch, so you can be like, hey. <laughs> so you can hurt his feelings, like, like, hey, I'm gonna beat you your head, head. Heal up. <laughs> Have another well, one. I'm We're so gonna so keep mad. doing this forever. <laughs> oh, kind of hard. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> if that was the case, yes, I'm like, you're his bitch. But once he became the planet, like Goku, yeah, you see. Like, uh, you see, this is why you use brain. Big stupid prizes, Goku. That's what happened. Oh, big time. And now yeah. everybody finna die. So now Vegeta yeah. gotta come clean it up. That's right? Like, that's what he did last first. dub. Like, this is what happened with Freeza last time in the movie. This isn't how I want Vegeta to get a dub. <laughs> but it's know. about to be. <laughs> He's about to steal a dub. He's gonna steal it. 
<laughs> I'm tired of your bullshit. You're always being an idiot. Oh. Uh. God, he about to just rip this man out of the earth. Like, get out of there, swing. <laughs> I just had Sorry. to ask you, just on your thoughts about that, because it was just something that, like, once you say Goku, like, wait, I think he read it. I have to ask him. No, I was annoyed at first, and then when I read the chapter, I was like, all right, well, this is a good chapter, but, like, what? Why are you the planet now? Like, why was that the move? Like, why? Why was that the plan? <laughs> I, was, I was angry at the chapter again after when I was like, oh. This is cell arc again. God damn it. Yes. <laughs> are we doing that? And, that, and so James, I was telling us like, and that's why I liked it so much because cell arc is still my favorite arc. I and, love the cell arc, but it's just but, like, <laughs> stop redoing stuff. Yes. And then, cause then when we realized that I was like, oh shit, he just gave yeah. me cell again. And that's why I loved all of this. Not, not, oh shit, you're right. See, that's, that's what Super was doing really well. Great homages to what came before, but keeping yeah. everything fresh. Why yeah. do this? Yeah, because Mora has magic, and he was sucking other people in the homo. But it's just like, he was just kept on like, <laughs> wow. Yeah, we do. I'm expecting know. Vegeta to just be like, Kakarot, I'll see you later. <laughs> Ray said that <laughs> last week on the review. Oh, the two he said that. that happens, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you said that on the review. I think two weeks ago, you said, like, yo, if he does that, because that's when he learned the instant transmission. If he does that, you're like, he you're like big, big attack. Boom. Could you I'm imagine like, only giving Vegeta instant chance <laughs> for that reason? Goku, yes, premium art. That would be hilarious. I would, oh. I would, I would. I would I'm gonna knock that damn great. Because it's not even a <laughs> hell if he go, if he teleports away and dies. Still, uh -huh. like, you you still lose in Vegeta, or, or he'll does. teleport there, teleport back, and be like, "That's how it's done. <laughs> that's how you live." You teleport back, right? You know that's. You can do that, Red Kakarot. <laughs> That's how it works, you know. Dun -dun. But and why I'm still mad? Is Boo, <laughs> you Boo as well. Oh, Boo storyline. Where the fuck did that go? Cause the like, oh, right. there's a storyline yeah, with Boo. He was a part of this at one point. I forgot. Who he was like, yeah, this turned him into power. Yeah, he I, tried to up. He, re he remembered him being there, and he was like, yeah, no, nah, we don't need you. You too broke. We were like, oh, Boo's gonna fight Moro and solve everything, and it's yeah, like, where? I'm like. I right, cool. Even I like argue. this. Boo yep. is a god of destruction. Cool. And then after that, nothing. There you go, yeah. bro. I'm sure he'll come back somehow. I'm sure he'll eat the planet or something. Okay. I can't. I can't wait for you know. We just have to turn back time again. But like, I'm getting tired of y'all shit. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> Majin Buu is too much of a cheat code. Like yeah. he could just absorb Moro and then it would just be over. Like, yep. And if that no, doesn't happen, then someone in the food. comments section would say, "Well, why didn't Majin Buu do this?" It's like, Cause imagine if Moro copied Boo's stuff and then ate Boo, bro. Okay, it's like this arc is never gonna end. Nope. It's just gonna be. He's like, ah, what other Dragon Ball villain can I? Basically. I By the way, I just want to do it. Cooler to show up, bro. I just want to do it. A quick shout out to Sean and Sherry. Um, they love Sam's nice, nice personality by being quiet throughout the whole time. <laughs> That's Sam, bro. That's Sam, did you have some of that good, good before the show tonight? Not that I remember, but no. But oh, okay, <laughs> just making sure. You sure my you didn't have any? Much, my eyes would be my eyes would be much smaller. <laughs> well, uh, um, okay, <laughs> just straight into the eyes. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, from going from my hero and everything um, to Dragon Ball Super, I know that you also read Chainsaw Man and plus JJK. Yes, I love Chainsaw Man, and I I'm really enjoying Jujutsu Kaisen. I've been reading for a little uh, a little longer than Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw mm -hmm. Man, catching up to Chainsaw Man is an experience, no matter yeah. where Chainsaw Man is when you've caught up, bro. Yeah, right? it's something else. Like, Chains I I wonder who like if Chainsaw Man gets an anime, like who is going to make that anime? Because who is the right person or the right team, mm -hmm. I, I should say, really, mm -hmm. to make that anime? Like, what do you guys think? Because The answer for me ooh. is always Madhouse. I haven't even read it, but the answer for me is always okay. Madhouse. So, okay. Okay. We've for talked me, about this a few times. That's yeah. a trigger. All right. Trigger. So you stole ooh. one of mine. Um, so yeah, trigger was, trigger was the first one. Uh, but then recently I was like, Mappa could do it, but Mappa so could, could Wit. Wit could Wit. Not, Wit. be great. Mappa could do it, but it's like, Gosh, you know they have everything, but they could do it. They could do it. Wit is a wit is a, a interesting choice because I am I thinking wit did wit do ancient magus bride or am I thinking someone? I else? think they, I think they did that and yeah, um, I'll check right now in a second. Yeah, I think they did. I, hmm. 
Shaft or also, I've, I've heard people say for really is it white box. I'm thinking of. I've heard people say Shaft. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I've, I've, obviously, people don't uh, like both. So the I studio, the studio for HMS, um, HMS Bride was what studio, and the producers was IG. Okay. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I like I like that anime a lot. Oh, I love the anime. The score of Age of Manus Brown oh, is beautiful. The music? I I just sit down and write videos to that music all the time. <laughs> it's freaking it. amazing. I but I, I I say trigger is because they're colorful and yes. and from, from what we've seen from the covers, from what we've seen from the art, um the blood of the devils are purple, greenish. Yeah, so colors. triggers have that type of color with their studio yeah. and what they've done with the movies. And they adapt um, a Santa of manga every two years. So if they could just grab Chainsaw Man, they're good for a while. Why not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think Chainsaw Man is going to be one of those things that, like, does very well. I really I, I really think it could. It's just it really yeah. it's going to take the I, right studio. I, I think whenever it hits Toonami, like, it's it like, just going to blow up again. It's, yeah. It's to explain like it is mm -hmm. very much like a tsunami like late at night yep. kind of show where you put mm -hmm. it on and people are going to go berserk for that's it. a so perfect it, show it, it's going to be what fully coolie was for us when we were kids yes no 100 and yeah oh who, who made that who um animated oh, that? Yeah. That's i don't cool. know uh that, that would be so yeah that, you're right i i would like to see that i don't know how to yep. spot that so you you have to search uh, out see. i'm looking up now but um, I definitely wait, agree. Wait. I definitely agree with Trigger, and I think. I, oh yeah, production IG. Production IG. All right, makes sense. Then. IG, IG yep. might, get, might have to get their hands on I, Chainsaw. I yeah, saw, man, bro. I see in the comment that somebody said A one, and I feel like A one won't work because A one is A one is too clean and plus stylistic. Because I've seen um, what they've done most recently was Sao this whole year because Sao season three has. Been beautiful. I don't know if you watch yeah. it so or you're a fan of it. Or you probably no, will just do hate. Uh, sort of. I, I'm oh, not caught up on the most recent season. I started Alicization when like the arc started, and I think I watched like I watched up until like the episode after the very controversial episode. Mm. And that's not like why I stopped, but it was like around then that I had stopped. And I've been I've seen like there's like a war and all this stuff going on. Oh, it's good. Uh up. the yeah. art and animation of this third season is probably the best one it's ever been. A one did an amazing job. They really did a beautiful job with the style, the art. The whole freaking cinematography has been amazing for that show. So I believe A1 would do a good job. I just don't think it's the best one for Chainsaw Man. Yeah. Like, if they got it, I wouldn't be mad, of course. Oh, right? same but, here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, because I know, like... like I want someone... Go ahead, sorry. Not because I was going to say, like, it's going to look beautiful, like, no matter what. I just don't think it will fit the <clears throat> right style for the series of the manga. Yeah. Yeah, my thing is I want Chainsaw Man to look very pretty, but it's more important for it to be weird. Mm -hmm. right? It's more important for you to get like a, a team that is going to be like, sure, let's do weird colors. Let's do this. Let's do that. Like, you know what? I wouldn't be mad at David Pro getting Chainsaw Man. Wouldn't be the mad David at all. Huh? I, would, yeah. I wouldn't be angry because yeah, I'm yeah. very happy. I'm really happy about JoJo. I'm really happy about Fire. Yeah. Course, right, mm -hmm. like I feel like yeah. they could. I, I feel like I feel like they could do it well. I think you're. I think you're absolutely right on that one. Yeah, I, I feel they could I do it. I feel James is spot on with Madhouse, even though he hasn't read the manga yet for Chainsaw Man. <laughs> because number one, Madhouse did Paranoia Agent. They also huh. did Black Lagoon, and they're actually pretty well in their dark like animes and their environments, and could be in a serious tone. Madhouse can actually take. But has Madhouse done anything recently? Because I don't think yeah, they've done. I feel like every time I bring up Madhouse, someone is like yelling at me, like, "Well, they they don't even have like anyone that's from the things that you like working there still, and uh, it's not even Madhouse anymore." And I'm always like, "All right, I'll never bring them up ever again." <laughs> yes, <Yeah, laughs> so like, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure like, has Madhouse really done anything? Because I know Madhouse just be a popular back when like 2012, 2014, when back when One Punch Man and then for the other popular ones got done by them. So like, are they doing anything recently though? No, right? I don't know. That can be a resurgence. <laughs> That's also valid. Yeah. Yeah, they just have to get the people that wanted to, like, work on certain things there again. Like, work, working there again. I'm sure it's not impossible. Right, right. Um, yeah, not everything has to be done by Bones, which is, like, definitely a lot of people always tend to lean to, like, oh, Bones! Bones can do this! Bones can do that! Bones has a bunch of studios! Bones! Bones! 
do a bones and it's like yes i want bones to do more things but they already they're already busy with my hero and yeah, the movies there's things, that, there's things that they're doing that i want them to do more of instead of doing other projects like i want kekai sensen back i want mob back i want certain things so it's Yo, like mob hey psycho, put I need all more. yourself to the side well, mob psycho season two was so good i want to see yes, more of really that. good Yes. Mob Psycho, the last five or four episodes was f- the animation Insane. for the fights is amazing. It's something else, yeah. And since then, I feel like anime's been really, really good. Every season, we yeah. always get something that has a that has really, really well animated fights. Like I feel like mm-hmm. the standard for anime fights is going up every year. If you just don't want to count, if you just don't want to count One Punch Man season two, then yeah. Yeah, I'm not counting One Punch Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that <laughs> drop. One Punch Man season two that I do still very much enjoy though, and I think the OVA had like some sauce right but i couldn't i just it. i jumped into the manga and have no regrets the yeah, manga is manga's that's incredible. the other thing like you, yeah you, you don't lose because yeah Murata, insane like absolute insane. goat like golly i, I he love out of his way to redraw chapters sometimes or he's yeah. like hey you know what, what? He does? i'll give you a full yeah no. like, i'll give you a full chapter that was finished already and you read it but guess what now i'm redoing that chapter and it's mm-hmm. it's different now and you're like what is i've read three versions of this fight what are you doing mm-hmm. that's what, what i found out just happened to, that's what, what i found out just happened to like the most recent chapters oh yeah, yeah. it's ridiculous there's a, couple, there's a couple fights that he'll just redo because he's like yeah that's not as good as it could have been and it's like but it was he already <laughs> yep what are you doing did not know he that was he would nah, go back yeah, and redo yeah. his I respect art that. like one punch man became like i because you know i was after like i started like started the second season i was like nope don't one punch man so i just dropped it uh yeah. and then i started reading the manga and i was like how did i sleep on this Y'all ain't being loud enough about this. Yeah. <laughs> and the art is just so good. So and good. I don't understand how it's so good with the release schedule. With like there was one point, there's like a, there's like a hundred page chapter of One Punch Man. Uh-huh. Yeah. Something like that. Mm-hmm. And it and then that came out like very quickly after like another hundred page or something. It's like a long chapter. And I was mm-hmm. like, Marana! How? I, I, I love Draw it. Berserk. Draw something else. <laughs> <laughs> help somebody else. Help Miura. Help Hunter Hunter. Like, get us all these things. If you got time to do 100 chapters, 100 page chapters. It's like, hey, yo, were you in One Punch Man? Actually, you want to go work on Hunter Hunter? That'd be <laughs> Please help us. Please. But then at the same time, when I see it, when you have a wife that did an amazing series and you don't need to work again and your back hurts, like, do you really need it. to go work and finish it? Like people oh, are like, like, like I haven't finished Hunter X Hunter, and I think that like the first time we bring it up in the, on the whole episode, and I know Ray's gonna throw me under the bus in a few minutes. So nope. like at you the end of the day, yeah, true. But at the end of the day, like when he has a wife that he sleeps with and everything, and you have she has work on Sailor Moon, she they have a buckload of money. People still probably buy your volumes. People still probably rewatch your shows a thousand times. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, he could choose to not go back and say, fuck yeah, I'm good. Y'all already love yeah, my shit. I've done it twice. Just, I'm good. It's just so much better if he finishes it, though, right? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, like, it's course. like, yeah, you can just be like, uh, sure, eh, whatever. I got it. I'm good now. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much over. Like, you got it. You know what's going to. But it's like, I, just to like, have a final chapter that I can read and be like, okay, this is done. This is where it's meant to be done. Mm-hmm. Like, it just makes the whole thing so much better, right? Especially if it's not bad, because so many right. things have like weird endings now that it's like, mm-hmm. oh, I don't know if I like this ending. Damn it, because I really like this series. Like, Demon Slayer, really love that series, and then the ending for me, it's like, well, I feel like you kind of left you left me somewhere before where the ending is supposed to be. Death you know? Note, and I'm not happy. <laughs> Death Note, uh, Man, it's whack. I'm hurt. Great series. Um, Dog shit ending. Dog I, I got shit. my girl the compendium for Death Note, like the big volume and everything. And I had never read the manga. I'd only ever read the anime. And I was like mm-hmm. blowing to figure out that there's like different stuff that happens in the manga. And I was like, wait a minute. What do you mean? That <laughs> that weird Death Note chapter that we got this year. How about that? Yeah, what the hell was that, bro? That, that that's, was, yes, that was we, just, we, we were all like, the, we were the all one like, shot, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we were all like, oh. And then, yo, mm, yeah. Boring that? as shit. I was so confused. It started off cool and then it ended. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> was whoa. Boring. All right. Why are yep. we here? Mm-hmm. Like, how did we get here? <laughs> I think that's how all of us feel. Me, I have point. never tried to. Sorry, not never tried. I've tried to get into the anime of Death Note five times. Never got past episode five. I just can't get into it. I've tried it. Damn. From what it sounds like, I've you need to read the manga. manga. That's true. Probably will do. Probably will read the manga instead. But the anime just—I don't know. I don't know the character, the animation. I don't know what it is. But 
never got into it. Yeah, try reading the manga, I would say. Mm -hmm. I feel like, like, like I was saying earlier, uh, paneling, like, gets a lot of things through. And the paneling in Death Note's really good. The art in Death Note's really good. But paneling, I think, might carry it for you a little bit. It might make it a little more interesting because some of the... Like, they try to do dramatic shots in the anime, right? But, like, how much more dramatic can you get than, like... <laughs> on the page perspectives right where it's like dark shadows and pitch black pages and I, w I would suggest trying it that's a perfect example to kind of bring up right now like it's hard to adapt a manga <clears throat> webtoon into an anime like what happened yeah. this year with your tower of god got a high school you know beautiful interesting adaptations right i'm so hurt like you know how hard i gassed got a high school because i'm like ooh. I'm reading this. This is we're, an, we're animating this like same this bro. Is crazy. Same right? bro. And they skip so much, and I was just like every week, like man, all right, this isn't so. I get it. Sure, we're taking a five round fight and making it one because we gotta condense it and we gotta get stuff across. But then like skipping certain whole character arcs. Yeah, they skip like, whole changing, characters. Yeah, changing, skipping whole characters. Yeah, and changing characters like their place in the story, like mm -hmm. changing like who wins a fight. Mm -hmm. it can be very bad for a certain character because now you have people who watch the god of high school anime that don't like mira at all that don't like her at all they're just like uh what is she what is she here for she's soccer she does nothing and it's like bro <laughs> she's, that's supposed to be flames supposed to be <laughs> she did a lot more than i've seen people. that but i've seen that and it's like i feel like none of those people would be saying that if her <clears throat> webtoon storyline would have carried over mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. to the anime because she's a boss like yeah. She's a problem. <laughs> like, we, we've talked about this before, but it's like the studio gives you 13 episodes. How much story can you fit in yeah. with all of these different characters yeah. and keep people interested in just backstory? So it's like you got to do what you got to do to get people interested. And hopefully in season two and beyond, they'll be able to expand and give right. you more of the backstory. Well, so. But it's, it's definitely a tough position to be in because yeah. it's like we got to cover a certain amount because just that's the pacing of this webtoon. That's, you know, it's not like a manga where it's like, we have this structure of we're going to yep. do this. We're going to do that. We're going to, no, it's this long, big season mm -hmm. of content that we have to figure out how to make into an actual anime season. I wish they would have got 24 episodes. I feel like that would have solved a lot of problems, Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's not how it turns out a lot of times, especially when you're, just your first like published anime. Like it's one of your first things that you're even publishing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's control just, original. Yeah, yeah, they're taking but, a huge chance on these properties. They did, so. you know, which yeah. I appreciate because I mean that hopes that I mean I hope that other series like you know get a chance to shine in, in that medium too because there's some other good yeah, stories still to show. So I'm, I'm worried that people like had a bad reaction to Tower of God and God of High School and they're like, oh look, see webtoon series, y'all were gassing them up and now they're all awful because they're mm. running through all of them. But it's like it doesn't have to be that way. Like right. it's that way because I feel like they were trying to like really push and get yeah. it out there and try to cover it. and like there's people that have been waiting for these stories to be told forever. Like you go and read God of High School. I, I tell anyone go and read how uh, God of High School and in the comments below the actual chapters that have been out for like years. You see people talking about, like, oh, I hope this gets to anime one day. I hope this and that. And it's like, I feel mm -hmm. so great for those people now. Like, even if we've skipped 50 chapters in an episode or whatever, just them being able to see some of those fights that they were reading in 2011 or whatever the hell, like, mm -hmm. that's awesome to me. Because I'm wondering, like, what series is it that I'm reading right now? Like, The Breaker? Like, what am, what am I reading mm -hmm. right now that's going to get animated in 10 years? And I'm going to be like, oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. thank I just hope for me. Kaiju yeah. number eight. I'm hoping for it. Yeah, Kaiju number eight. Please God. <laughs> I think Phantom Seer one. is also going to be around because of that. The R has just been so good for that. And with Mashal, Mashal is definitely going to be. I think it's literally, is... it's literally Harry Potter and One Punch Man in one manga. Yes. That's what it is. And yeah. it has, it's, yeah. it's literally and, and... a lot of people in the West. If you just, if you just get in the West and just tell people Harry Potter meets Harry One Potter, Punch Man. One Punch Man. Yeah. That's it. It's a, it's a, it's a recipe because there's. People, I grew up big on Harry Potter. Same here. I would go to like the library and whatnot. So anything that is like magic, that's it, right? You know, like anything mm -hmm. that. The only thing that I would probably like more than, like something like My Hero, is if there was like a, oh damn, that's gonna hurt some people's feelings. I was gonna say if there was a good magic manga in a <laughs> Weekly Shonen Jump, but like Black Clover exists. So like, what am I Oops. saying about that, right? Um, <laughs> But I, I enjoy Black Clover, but it's just not like... I know exactly what you're saying on that not, one. It, I, I don't love it as much as I want to, right? I feel like it's not the magic series that I want 
from Weekly Shonen Jump, right? I, not, I know what you're saying. Yeah. There's there's something that I feel like isn't being touched on in like the creating a fantasy series, like a series that feels like like a D campaign or like a like a RPG game, right? There's something that like hasn't been done, I feel like, in uh at least Weekly Shonen Jump manga, um, that's not being done with Black Clover or or Mashal. And like I, I love uh I've been really, really enjoying Mashal for the, the I think, 10 or 11 chapters that I read yeah, with my friend. Right now it's at 38, and Undead Unlocked, I think, is at 40 or 39, because I know um, Undead Unlocked is a ch- one chapter ahead. And I've been enjoying both. Um, I hope they they have success for next year, two years, whatever. Undead Unlocked um, is doing good. It's, it's been doing great numbers, um, sales, yeah. uh, and probably popularity. It's just that a lot of people heard about the first That's three chapters being etchy and everything. I'm like... And like, there's more to it. Like, yeah. like there's more yeah, to it. I, just once they started getting into like the power system, I was like, oh wait a minute! Like, you you really thought this through? Like, it's not just like you were trying to get off your little weird pervert joke. Like, you you had there's like a serious backstory and system and all this stuff in this manga. So I'm gonna sure I'm gonna keep reading it. Like, I was creeped out in the first chapter or two. I was, like, I was uh, true. Oh, I was true. Go well. It's not gonna go well. What's going? To, what's gonna happen here? Like, but, how's this gonna end in five chapters? I but love no. It was gas. I love how chapter one gets. It gets a callback. I think on chapter thirty-seven or chapter thirty-eight, it gets a callback from what happened from that chapter, and it's amazing. Like all these things okay. that happened about said events about the spoil about the meteors. All those things gets explained in the most recent chapter. So it's like it gets a mind okay. blow of how the I story world the. The whole interesting aspects of these type of rules, the undead, the unrepair, all these type of things are amazing. So I love how the current Shonen Jump is doing great at what each current series is doing. Right yeah, I think Jump's in a great place right now. Um, Agreed. Yeah, for a while it was kind of like, oh, like, we do need another sports manga, I guess, right? Like there's a couple yes. of roles that need to mm-hmm. be filled. Um, but I think it's in a good place right now, especially with recent stuff because we have Mashal, we have Phantom mm-hmm. Seer, we have... Mm-hmm. Um, I know, like, uh, Kaiju is not technically, like, in the magazine, right? But it's, like, Shonen Jump Plus. Yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. We have uh, yeah. Spy X Family, I think, is also, like, that. Or it was Shonen Jump Plus. Uh, yeah, it is, it? as yeah. well. This, this, this. Yeah, like, there. it's surprising to me that Shonen Jump Plus comes up with series that are actually, like, so well-loved. Mm-hmm. And then, like, go ahead. Are you reading the series? Uh, it's Spy Family, but the other one, uh, I think Yakuza it's... Family? No. Yakuza, uh, yeah, that one. Girl? No, no. Uh, Which one was? Is about the mission mission Josekura family. Yeah. No, no, I haven't read that yet. I I love the hype that's been going on the past month or two. It's because it's because a new editor is from Haiku, so oh. so the story has improved. Um, I've been reading it since chapter one since last year, but I paused on chapter ten. But I've been told to catch up because the past ten chapters. It has a new editor, so the story is better. the The art is better yeah. now. So I'm like, oh, okay, just be- so just because of the editor change, now the whole thing changed. I'm like, this is good news to hear. Yeah, an editor can do a lot for your series, though, because if I remember, Corey's editor changed around <laughs> like five times, right? The Endeavor arc. Oh, wow. I think yeah, like around the Endeavor arc is when I believe his editor changed. To, I think his name is Yori Tomi, or I might be messing his name up because I didn't have it beforehand but it's all good yeah that's when the series changes pace or when it changes like perspective where it starts yeah. going from like what it was to spreading out a little more and growing mm-hmm. and i feel like i i feel like i read something a long time ago about the way that they do their editors is like you get one person who's very like they're not going to let you do too much they're not going to let you just do whatever you want to do when you're starting your story off because they're trying to get it out there they're trying to make it accessible to everyone right but once you survive what they they do change editors like it's a thing that they do on an actual schedule mm. and once you survive you're bound to get an editor that's going to let you kind of get a little more into your like what you actually want to do or, or help you kind of target stuff in a certain direction or do stuff in a certain way um so a, a editor can make a real big difference i'd love to meet the editors from chainsaw man i'll tell you that right now <laughs> <laughs> they're just like go ahead fuji they're like oh, hey whoever. You know what? Want. You showed up today. Do your thing. Because <laughs> like, I don't know. So what? James did Fire Force. I read a little bit of Fire Force. No, Fire Punch. It's another oh, manga. Punch. By, oh, it's oh, another yeah. manga by the creator of Chainsaw Man. It's very much in the same light. Insane. Okay. 
okay. crazy. The concept is, uh, I always explain it this way to people. So imagine My Hero Academia, right? People who read Chainsaw are like, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> imagine if My Hero Academia was in a post-apocalyptic world, right? So you have people that have quirks pretty much, right? All sorts of quirks. The main character, his quirk is that he infinitely heals. He can infinitely heal through anything, right? A dude comes to his village and his quirk is a Matarasu. Where it's no. like, I am you are going to burn until you are gone. Wow. He hit hits the main character with that. What happens there when you have a character that cannot burn away and a fire that does not stop burning? You get a dude who is just on fire all the time. <laughs> okay. And that is the main character of the manga. And I'm like, okay, that's a little ridiculous. Sure. Why would I read this? Because the setting is in a world where everything is frozen. Everything is covered in snow. Because some quirk user or lady or ice witch froze the whole world over. So now you have this character that has inextinguishable flames covering his entire body in a world where everything is covered in ice and snow. I'm By in. the person who made Chainsaw Man. I'm in! I'm in! Yes. I, I definitely want to read it, but I um it got... Um, approve or greenlit for an anime coming out next year, I think, or 2022. So I definitely oh, want to watch it. Yeah. Oh, okay. you might just want to. I wonder who. Who do you know? Who um, you? give me a minute. I'll get back to you on that. That okay. studio needs to be like the best at making fire, right? Like, is it going to be Dave? Like, there's a lot. I mean, it's called Fire Punch, right? To <laughs> the <suit. laughs> right. But it's like your main character he's constantly on fire like it's the dude constantly on fire so whoever gets that right you have to imagine there have to be very comfortable with animating flames and having it look great because that's like the whole thing um it, did, it, it does not yet say who but mm -hmm. it has 83 chapters so right if you do want to read it, it has 83 chapters the drop it's a very weird ending i'm not gonna get into it but it's i don't know it's oh. weird it's weird Oh. Well, I have read yeah. Chainsaw Man, so I couldn't stand because I read a whole chapter of chapter 85 where I only had three panels of words and just action. And I still didn't know where the huh. fuck where we were going. I was like, okay, yeah. Fujimoto, even though I don't know what I just read, but thank you. I still don't know what I read, but thank you. Like, Fujimoto's <laughs> mangas are just like a fever dream. Just, of just like, all right, I don't know what's happening right now. I know I like it. But I don't know why. But I know that I love this right now. Like, there's a dude riding a shark, and a chainsaw is coming out of his head. And I yep. don't know why this is heat, but this is heat. This I heat. Want yeah, more. I love it. I want more sharks. That's what yeah. we have told James all the time. James, I need you to love this. It. I tell like, this is some yeah. weird shit that you would love. <laughs> like, James, if you love horror, this is up your alley because this is some weird shit. So, in Chainsaw Man, at one point, the main character fights a person who is, like, a bomb... Literally. And can like, yeah, and can like manifest like anything having to do with explosions and whatnot. And he gets like this moment. It's gonna be like a regular like shown in moment where it's like, oh, the main character is thinking of this power up or whatever, and like he's having this brain blast, and he's finally gonna be smart. And then he's like, the answer is, I'm gonna ride this shark through the city. I'm gonna ride a shark through skyscrapers to fight this bomb. And it's like, all right. And it makes perfect sense, and it's cool. incredible in the series. It's amazing. I it's didn't even best. question it, bro. Didn't even no, I didn't, I didn't question it either. I was like, I'm very yeah. happy this is happening. Why? I don't sure. know. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Why not? That's the series title uh, tagline. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? I love it. I love it. Yeah. Golly. It's so goddamn good. It is. It's why. real good, bro. What about it? It's so goddamn good, but it's great. Yeah. What? Since we talk about Shonen Stern and everything, what is your favorite series overall? Like, do you have a favorite series or is it oh, my hero? <laughs> uh, I don't I don't think I have like not not to even like cop out from the answer. I don't think I have a favorite because it always changes. Anytime anyone asks me. Mm -hmm. For a while, I I liked Demon Slayer more than my hero, and then Demon Slayer ended and I was I was unhappy with the ending, so it goes doo -doo 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 -doo, mm. right. Um like right now. Like as far as current arcs, I probably would say I like Jujutsu Kaisen right now more than I what's going on in my hero, right? Because mm -hmm. Battle for Shibuya is ridiculous. It's it's crazy this arc that's going on. And like reread it. It's this nuts. What's going like the My Hero arc that's going on right now is amazing. I'm still pushing up Shibuya arc. Yep. Yeah, the Shibuya arc is like crack. 
<laughs> it's incredible like not the, of course not not actual but you know what i mean the the you know um but yeah so right now i would say it's jujutsu kaisen mm. just because this arc like what chapter is a, a miss what chapter is like a low or like a uh but i understand that i feel like jujutsu, jujutsu kaisen is going to end before my hero academia right mm -hmm. in my mm -hmm. opinion that might not be reality but i feel I like that's going to be the case and then we're going to get back to like reality i feel like it's always going to come back to my hero academia for me where it's going to be like oh well this is this is my buddy like i've i've known you for so long we've been around right. you've never really done me dirty like you keep getting better and better i know i can always go back to you and appreciate you because you're going to be here doing what you do which is be he right yep. I'm, I'm gonna go mess around with these other series real quick my hero i'm sorry because bad on shibuya is flames but i'm, I'm gonna come back I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it down you know we're gonna <laughs> I think it's always great to have multiple things that you really enjoy. Can't be yeah. mad. No, I, I think people do get mad though. People do definitely get angry. People um, waste their time is what they do. <laughs> so you didn't grow up on the whole Bleach, Naruto, One Piece, like on the big oh, three, or, I, or like maybe Trigon, maybe maybe for Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, stuff like that. To like say those like childhood favorites. I, I grew up on. I thought you just meant like current stuff. I, I grew up on definitely all of those things. Like I was, I've been watching anime ever since I woke up randomly one night watching Toonami and the Inuyasha theme was on at four AM, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm watching this from now on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely was in that big three era of Naruto, uh, Bleach, and and One Piece. Mm -hmm. I don't really count kind of those as a big three, but um, I don't know, like. Just as far as current stuff right now, that's what I like. But older stuff, I would say Fullman Alchemist, right? I yeah. I get into yeah. heated arguments about Fullman Alchemist being better than Hunter Hunter, right? And people don't it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I feel like that there's I not a real I argument to have there because one of those things has an ending and is done. And I can read the whole thing and I'm like, damn, none of this is boring to me. Whereas Hunter Hunter doesn't have an ending yet, and there are parts of it that are boring to me. Yep. So well, that's boring to you. That, which uh, I don't to... I don't like Greed Island. I don't. Mm. I don't like Greed Island. And I, I feel like what really pisses me off is even when you're just watching the anime, it's like there's this portion and there's a lot of training going on, right? And then we go to Chimera Ant and we're doing more training. And it's like, what did y'all just train for? To do more? <laughs> yes, they trained for one level and now you're training yeah. for the next one. <laughs> um, like, uh, I, it just feel, I don't know. I was very, and I like Chimera Ant a lot, but not as much as everyone else does, I feel like. Finally! I, I, I got I, one! I, 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 got I love one. that arc, but everyone seems to love it a lot Everybody more. Everybody who I've had like. come on this show who we've asked this question is like, oh man, it's my favorite arc. It's the best one. And I'm like, it's good and I love it, but like, no, bro. Yeah, man, it's subjective. I'm, that's all, that's valid though. That's 100 percent because I would never be mad at somebody. For I'm never that. mad at y'all for doing it, but I'm like, y'all yeah. crazy though. <laughs> I, I would never be mad at someone for saying Bugs Life Two is their favorite arc of Hunter Hunter, but I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> 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 New York New City is mine, and that's fine. Well, that's, Whoa, that's my that's my cue to leave. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why that's completely fine. fine. I got. I'm just gonna play full metal over it. Just just I a thought, bit. One tick mark on the board. All right, finally. Well, out of all the, I think, like 20 plus guests we have had or less, I'm glad we found one out of the. <laughs> Me, of course. Yeah. Good old Jackie Head Pineapple. <laughs> Steve goes, all right, all right, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, What's happening I, here? Yeah, because I'm curious, like, I think we have asked Roger when he was here. I think okay. we have asked Knox and a couple of the people, and they said that they've enjoyed it. Everybody. Yeah. I enjoy it. Like, I I love my watch through of Hunter Hunter. I did it with all the homies. Like, I enjoy the manga, but it's just like, I'm not putting it over Fullmetal Alchemist because I yeah. am not wrong. So I don't want to do that, right? It's facts. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, but, you know, I, I just, I can't do that. I can't myself do that. But I understand when people do that. I, I get it. Like, I understand Hunter Hunter is of that level. It's very, very good, mm -hmm. right? Like, to, it's comparable. I can't put it over Full Metal because I mean, Full Metal has never I, let me down. I, I yeah, can't, I can't put Hunter Hunter over Attack on Titan for myself. Like I can't. Um, you know, I've never. I don't think I've ever had that really even to think to put those between each other. But I can't either because Attack on Titan is. I feel like better. Attack on Titan is God. Uh, Attack on Titan is phenomenal. 
Like I have Attack not, on Titan like, has been top top of its game for so that's long. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, ever since I've started Attack on Titan, I've never had a moment where it's like I don't like this. I so, yeah. everything. So, Pineapple, question for you: Are you are you anime only for a, for Attack on Titan? No, no I, read manga. Manga. I, I am. Okay, I cool. am an anime only. Yeah, so he's I, the I, only I, anime I, only. Okay. And I have to, right? I like. I, I want to. I want to read it so bad, bro. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I can't watch it's it. very hard for me to be anime only for anything because I am so nosy with stuff that I like that I Same. have to like. I have to find out what's coming next. What's happening next? What's going on? Like, that's James. Yeah, I, have to. yeah well, I think we. I think we got to five episodes of Fire Force, and then I was yeah. like, oh, I'm caught up on the manga now. Yep. No, so, no, no. Yeah. But the way he says it exactly is that, uh, hey, guys, I'm gonna read a couple of chapters ahead. Next podcast episode, he tells like, y'all saw what happened was I accidentally read the whole chapter that I'm cut up now. I'm like, how can you, it, you know how hard it is when you're reading something and it's good and it's like the next, the chapter's over and you know the next one's right there. It's like, Thank you. <laughs> Why do you think I'm picking my time in one piece? I'm telling you. Bro, bro, you have nine hundred chapters. You you cannot take a sweet time. You have nine hundred chapters. I'm taking my time, dude. You know how fast I read. I can read two. Uh, I can read two hundred chapters a week. So what's if wrong not, with that? Go ahead. Because no, I'm to read. So okay, I'm not gonna sit. Did you do that thing? You'd be blazing right through it. It's because it's fire. That's why you're eating your best. So I'm also like <laughs> taking my time with that one too. I'm like I'm a one little oh. bite from this t- side of the sandwich. One little bite from this side. <laughs> I read really slow, man. Like I have to analyze each panel like three times before I even move on. Like it takes me forever. There's yeah, because... things that I read like that. Yeah, because... that was so much. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, because um, I think last year when the anime, the GOAT anime, twenty 29... nine, uh, twenty nineteen, that was supposed to win, the Villain Saga. Villain Saga. <laughs> when we were all when we, when we were all reviewing that last um last year week to week. Um, James just happened to catch up and then when me, Ray, and Sam were just giving out theories like, yo, what's happening next episode? James had to be quiet the whole time like, hmm, hmm. And we're like, oh. Ashkelon's gonna live. He's gonna teach him. And then James like, hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> Nice. I'm like, nope. Think that Ashkelon happened? is dead, bitches. <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn. Big spoilers. There he goes uh, again. Whatever. It was it was so He's funny. Bad. These guys are coming up with so many theories for Ashkelon. I'm like, this dude's dead. I'm like, <laughs> so dead. Sorry, buddy. Like, I mean, he's gonna I, live. I was still very happy to see it happen. I'm not gonna lie, but still, I was like, yo, it's crazy. Cool. I am. I'm a little evil and cruel. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's valid, though. I mean, you have to be to survive these days. You got to be a little evil and cruel in the inner. Why not? Exactly. And he didn't. So. <laughs> yeah. You want every manga can now is just going to be evil and cruel all their characters, right? It seems like it's in season mm-hmm. for a manga to be like, hey, yeah, hope you don't right. like them. I was like, because uh, it's like we got evil Shiggy by the same time we got Makama, and I'm like, hey, chill out. <laughs> yeah, they're oh, demented right now. One topic I want to know: um, Are you reading solo leveling, or have you read solo leveling? I read a little bit of solo leveling, but not not a lot. I had to read, I, am... I had to read a little bit for, I think, a video one time. I want to hear thoughts about it because that's the only actual one that I actually read. I think like 80, 80 chapters or so. And it's just so good. Like, the art is freaking amazing. Like, that's one I want to see adapted. And if it's not adapted, well, I'm going to cry. Like, that's one that actually they watch and see. And the art is good. The whole Arise, the creatures and everything is amazing. And if that's not adapted, well, I'm going to definitely cry. I'm going to be sad. I think I was I was meaning to read more of that. But I ended up trying to catch up on God of High School. Which is like, like, I like just being caught up in everything. So it's easy to then read week to week. But trying to catch up reading on God of High School, it's like those chapters are one long and two, it it's just a long scroll. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Mm-hmm. And I don't know for some reason that took me a long time. Like it took me way longer than I thought it was going to take me to catch up on on that. Like I haven't caught up on Tower of God. Scrolling up so much that it's like yo, this keeps going. I think it's the way it reads, honestly. Yeah, it yeah. it makes it feel like really long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I was supposed to, like, I'm supposed to be caught up on Tower of God right now. And I just, I can't finish reading God of High School because there's more chapters. It's like 400 something chapters. It's hard. Yeah, bro. So it's, I'm, it's hard I, to I, 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 time. It's like, as much as I would love to just like devour these series that I could, it's just like, but then I'm caught up on everything. And I don't like that. I gotta be, I, yeah. I'm not Sam, you know, so. <laughs> well, if you ever need a recommendation though, you know where to get it from. That's right. There you mm-hmm. go. Mm-hmm. That's true. Um, he does read 
a lot of light novels, a lot of edginess, and a lot of easy case. Isekai's? Isekai's, yeah. Isekai's. Mm -hmm. So, he, like, he reads a lot of those, you know, She Hero, um, he reads ReZero, and all those type of oh, things. So, it's like, oh. you know, Isekai, Cheat Magician, whatever. Who? Nobody talks about that. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? He said Isekai, Cheat Magician. Did you watch that? No. <laughs> He's like, I don't know about boring anime. What's boring? No, no. No, I, I'm willing to give most things. I'm not a very picky person, right? Like, I'm willing to, if someone's going to recommend me something, I'm willing to give most things uh, most things a chance. Well, if you want to take a nap, go watch. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. If you want to take a nap, go watch Wiseman Grandchild. That's oh, a nap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, take a nap with that one. Mm -hmm. there's, there's this anime that's getting uh, made that I'm really, really interested in, just because I've seen people memeing it on the timeline. It's about a, like a Yakuza guy that, Yes, oh, home house oh. or whatever. Yes, no, the house husband. household yeah, husband. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, house, yeah. that's I, Sam right there. Hey, Sam, talk over here. <laughs> I know that is something that's like so right up my alley. Like any anytime I see anything about it, I'm just like, oh man, I'm gonna fall in love with this series. I, I feel like it's gonna be a more grounded version of um, the Devil is a Part Timer. Oh, I love that that's series so much that. when it came out. I love that. I was like, why do I like this? This is so dope. I would. God damn it! I love this. God, so much fun. <laughs> Why is he working at McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> of course he would. Of course Satan picks McDonald's as his job. Oh, <laughs> of course. Oh, I, mean, I mean, that clown killed millions of people. So I <laughs> love that. I love that series. This place so is evil. I love it. <laughs> it's perfect. What kind of miss like? I miss Food Wars. Like I have, I knew, I I really need to catch on Food Wars. Like I've been behind on season three and four. I don't know if I'm a like the ending because I heard from Sam. Like yeah, another one bad. dog shit ending. Like was this series dumb. was amazing. Like yeah. Soma's one of my favorite shonen characters. Like he's so amazing, and then it's a dog shit ending. I hate bad endings so much because it really just makes you feel like all the time that you put in is just like, oh, yep. you really took that away from me. Why'd you do that? Yep. Like. But I, then it makes me feel bad because how how do you have to feel as the mangaka being like having all that time you invested and then having your ending be bad? But then, yeah, right? But that then, can't feel good. Nope. But then you kind of question it like, is it because of him himself? Or do you mean like the editor, the studio slash company that kind of rush it to kind of come to an end? Like, it, it could be all different type of variables of yeah. where it comes to an end. Like me sometimes, I wish I wish older. I want him to take a year break or at least a couple months where he could at least just know where the story is going since he keeps saying like, oh, the story's going to be ending five years. Oh, the story's going to be ending five years. I'm like, bitch, yeah. it's been 10 years. Like, I, I love you, know, but like, <laughs> where, where is it? Like, where is it? Like, I don't I want the story to be rushed. Like, I don't think they would be mad at you that if you slow down your story because you could take a break. They won't be mad at you. They probably would be sad that they're losing a, a bunch of money. Yeah, people are going to be sad, but. But it's one for your health. And plus, you're yeah. older. And three, if you just say, hey, I'm going to take two months break. I'm going to get my story pieces together. I'm going to know when we're going to go for Elbath, this, where it's going to go to Rafton, and, and, you know, such, know where the direction is going is. That would be awesome. But right now, I feel like we're close to a thousand chapters, and I feel like people have been complaining, oh, Wano pace it. Because I see the whole YouTube and Twitter side, like, Wano's half and half for most people. I enjoy Wano, I feel like. I enjoy I, I it, too. Like I I was enjoying it a lot, and then I saw people hating it, and I was like, "Why? Why does? Why am I right now on the side of loving One Piece when no one is? Like, what's going on? What world have we crossed into that like I am loving the current arc, and people are like, this arc is trash. I would have forgot how to write, and I'm like, oh, it's like kind of now the scabbards. It's like yeah, it's like a lot of people get mad at scabbards. Like, okay, just because we don't know them that well, you're gonna hate them just because they have no story, character development as much as crazy, but they're there. They just been spoken, but not just as much as that we have known Sanji for eight hundred, you know, eight hundred chapters. Yeah, that's different. Um, you're only gonna know characters that are important for an arc so much, right? Like, I feel like if anything, you know a lot of the scabbards more than you would know a lot of other characters from other arcs of One Piece because usually, I mean, what's the formula, right? You go to place. Everything here is fantastic. Meet people. Everything here might actually be bad. Everything <laughs> might be, yeah, everything here might it, be kind of a little. It's just a lot of people don't know. Like Luffy has broken people out of slavery, child experiments, abuse. Like One Piece, Luffy has freed societies. It's yeah, so weird to think about. Like he's caused like revolutions. Like what is going not on? Not even on purpose. Yeah, yeah he's no, this like, was not planned. 
Doesn't she literally just happened to let him like, hey, I come here to eat. Wait, what? Your country's fucked up? You, wait, you're slaves? You know what? <laughs> let me free you right now. Come that. through. Wait a minute. Hey, I've come here to eat. Wait, what? Your country is fucked up? <laughs> no, it's true <laughs> because... Someone would do that here. Fuck, like... Hey, no, man. because it's true, like... This. He has gone to Fishman Island. He, he, he has gone to Punk Hazard just because he saw a fire island. Oh, cool. Let me check this island out. Wait, hold up. There's child experiments here? Let me just fix this shit up real quick. So, like, it Funny, happened yeah, out of the, the blue. That, like, the, the randomness of his, like, just wanting to go wherever the hell has led him on this path that it's like, oh, you're, like, saving the world by accident, aren't you? Aren't you, like, mm. accidentally <laughs> saving the world one island hmm. at a time? Reverse Christopher yeah. Columbus. How about that? <laughs> Very true. Yeah. <laughs> You're actually doing good, huh? That's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. Like you sailed across the water. You did something good. I've never heard of that happening before. What's mm. going on? Interesting. I just hope at this point that the One Piece is even interesting. Like, I hope it's worth oh, the find once you get not. to it. <laughs> I, all that thing said it in a, in a news or in one of the interviews, like, I think two or three years ago, because uh, one of the comments, um, you know, Try to ask him, is it like power friendship or I think it's one other thing he said, and then and then he just responded like it's more than what it is and is it and it's actually important. So I I have faith in him. I've been reading this series for twenty years, so it has to be more important than what it is because it's not fairy tale. It's it's not going to be like just coming out of the ass. Mm. (laughs) It's not going to be a bottle of ass juice. Nope. Yeah. Now it's it's come full circle. (laughs) So like. Oh God! That's how you start the show, and that's how we're gonna end the show. Like, phew, beginning, middle, and end. Oh my God! It just works out perfectly for that. So, like, very smooth. But uh, he got his own sugar mama. What kind of comment? Oh, even ball handcuff on. Oh, ah, I should write that comment right before and ahead. Because Luffy has plot. Everybody loves Luffy. To me, Luffy. Uh, to me, mm-hmm. Luffy is one of my favorite characters. Um, MC and series like that because he not has to be perfect. He doesn't have to have some crazy character development. He's a person who just wants to have free will and just wants to live the world. And that's all, really. So yeah. to me, that's a person. He wants beautiful. other people to live that way too, and mm-hmm. I think that's really mm-hmm. respectful. He wants everyone to just be able to do what they want as long as they're not hurting other people. And then he's like, "Well, why are you guys in charge hurting everyone? Like, what, what are you doing?" He goes everywhere and makes it better. And I, I think that's really respectable. Um, in a character, right? Like I agree. Someone who's everywhere they go, you're like, all right, Luffy's gonna be here for like three years in real life while I read this arc. But I'm sure by the end of it, everyone's gonna be happy, and like all these problems that are systemic and shitty are gonna be fixed by this weird kid with a straw hat <laughs> somehow and his I, robot friend that goes super. I just, <laughs> know, I just know I'm gonna cry at that because I need mad questions to be answered. I know if I say this right now, people are gonna be like, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Big Straw Hat, the whole Poneglyphs, yeah. I need to know what's the hell of the Will of D that's been talking about the whole raft tale. So I, I need questions to answer. I need the giant stuff answer. Um, I need Ustav to stop being a little bitch still. Like, it's been 800 chapters. So kind of like be hero of the sea. Yeah, so I need those type of things. And I know I'm going to cry when Brooke is the last Straw Hat. I'm going to... That doesn't be some sad thing. That, that is a very sad thought, huh? Where it's like, hey, I, I feel like... What if Oda just gets rid of Brook? Like he kills Brook by the end. The only way imagine he could die is just it's, it's just put him in the water. That's the only way. He no, could but die. I'm, I'm saying like imagine like they find a way like he dies to like a villain or something, like like sacrifices himself. Because if not, you are gonna end up with that situation where it's like, hey, Brook, like you're this is kind of a very temporary thing for you. Like you're gonna go back to that situation where you were like sad and alone. That's trash. Like what do you what do you have for Brooke? What is his like happy ending? You don't know like what what is it? Yeah, he's gonna meet up with his whale again, but then his whale's gonna die. Like, what is your happy ending? I think for Brooke is just to be with a whale and just finally reunite after so many years. I think that's his I goal. Think, I don't think immortality has a happy ending, I feel like it's, oh, it's so weird. Like, it never does. Any any type of series in any movies, anybody that has mortality never surviving a happy that makes you know way. for Brooke though because he's definitely supposed to be such a like a happy soul king you know what i mean and then it's like oof you're like really sealed to have the saddest kind of maybe you go back on tour. i mean to be fair bella and edward lived happily ever after if that counts 
<laughs> Never thought it, I would hear a enough. Twilight it reference enough. for One Piece. Fair enough. My girlfriend would hate me. If wow. I did this Never thought I would hear Fair a Twilight enough. reference for One Piece. Wow. No, I was like, Bellad. oh, Twilight. All right, all right, all right. Okay. That's a very good one. I gave two shit for that. All right. <laughs> That really um, so, just threw me off entirely. <laughs> yeah, me too. Like, whoa. I was like, oh, but wait a minute. Something, something. Ah, uh, Twilight. <laughs> so, Twilight. so I did ask the chat uh, before we end the uh, stream on podcast, do they have any questions? Well, one of the questions was, thoughts on the Promised Neverland? Uh, this for anybody, right. including Pineapple. Promised Neverland. Let me just real quick go on a very tiny rant. Uh, oh, I wow. really, really love Promise Neverland, right? Then we get to this part of the, the series where shit just kind of falls apart for me, Ooh. right? We get to this, and maybe there's something that I did wrong. Maybe I was misled somehow. But there's a point in Promise Neverland where you're just supposed to just, like, they just start referring to things that never happened in the manga that are like, remember when we did this and we went there and we, we, we talked to, like, do you, am I just alone in that? I feel like in the last arc, there's times where they talk about like, oh yeah, when I went to the village and I was hanging with these uh, the demons and doing all this. It's like, when did that happen? Mm. It they like I'm not they caught up, so I don't know. So to so not like actually go into detail about anything, there's just points in the story, uh, especially near the end, where they they refer to things that like you don't get to see happen ever in the story, right? Like uh-huh. imagine if. If to solve a problem or to solve a, a question or something in, near the end of your series, your character refers to something that they went through or that they experienced, right? Mm. But you never saw that happen. Was there like, at least a you, flashback or? It, it there's like a quick panel, like it's 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 like it's like there's an arc that is missing. Mm. That that that's my reading experience for Promise Neverland. There's a period where like they start referring to stuff that I have. There's nowhere that that happened for me in my reading of the series. Mm. So I was like, where, why are these very important, crucial things getting answered? And the answer is coming from like, oh yeah, remember when we did this? And it's like, but that never happened. What are you doing? What's going on? Gotcha. Okay, like, that's very so, disappointing. Yeah, just for that, I have a big problem with that series. But I love the ending. Uh, it never like gets bad. It's just... I feel like for some reason there's like this middle section area where they just start referring to stuff that doesn't happen on screen. Yeah. And it's like, maybe like they could fill it in the anime. It's like if there was a movie for Neverland and then it was canon and manga started referring to it, but then none of us ever got to see the movie. That's what it feels like reading the last like 50 or 60 chapters of that. And it's great still, but it's like, weird but again maybe i've done something wrong maybe like i somehow have not read 50 chapters of neverland somehow like they've gone through a wormhole or something i don't know but my experience was there was a certain point where i was like wait what we were referring to all this stuff that never happened like i i don't know and i've never had that experience in reading a manga before where it's like they start referring to flashbacky stuff or stuff that happened off screen and i've been like mm-hmm. Ugh. but in this there were important things that were settled by like off screen stuff that was referred to that it's like, well, why would you have that occur off screen if that mm-hmm. is important? Yeah, I, I don't know. Cause they didn't think, I, think about it until that moment. <laughs> yep. Yeah, right. it's like, what do you mean? Oh, we got the answer, but the time that I went to the village and did this and did that. And it's like, what fucking Bill, what are you talking about? What? <laughs> they're banking that, on the that fact happened. that no one's gonna remember what happened previously and they're only gonna remember what's happening yeah. now. Like, oh yeah, that did happen. And I was sitting there like, no, no. <laughs> That's like right now, if like the end of the My Hero War arc came down to like a Mineta arc that we never got, I'd be like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, Mineta, you don't you guys don't remember that time that his balls became magnetic and, <laughs> and, and, uh, and I'm like, that never happened. Don't try to take that way out of the arc if it never happened. So that's my experience with Neverland. I love the series, but oh, so for long- example, so it's just like what happened with Blackwood. With Blackwood, when people say, "Oh, but there's no training," but then we got a flashback that he did training for it. It's kind of like that, but I feel like the training for Blackwood is like at least implied. Like we saw, yeah. we saw Kachakachan early on. I think like right at the end of One B or whatever. We just didn't know what it was called at the time. Yeah. This is like, this is like. It's something where you don't even know that there's the question yet, right? Yeah. There's like this this reveal of this question that you don't even know is a question. 
And then the question is answered with something that you don't already know. Of. So it's like you introduce a question and an answer to me that it's like, why? Why? To answer something you've already questioned. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I sound weird or I'm just... I, I don't know. No, I that would frustrate me to know. I was <laughs> so mad because I was sitting there talking about like, oh, uh, Promise Neverland is the new Death Note. It's this, this so great. Like I read it and it's like so, so psychological and I, I go through all the characters and everything is just written so well from every angle. And then we start talking about stuff that to me never happened. And it's like, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What happened? What is this hole in the story that's here mm. that shouldn't be here? Because this was going really, really well. Um, and I think the ending is great. And like, I still read it all the way and enjoyed it, but there was, yeah, that frustration where it was like, Hey guys, when did this happen? Please tell me, do I have to read another book? What do I got to do? <laughs> <laughs> a light novel? Yeah. yeah it'll like, be a think, one shot. That's disappointing because I actually enjoy the first season. I am as well as a manga reader with James and most people here. So, but I enjoy season one, but I'm excited for season two next year. It comes I'm in January. Excited. So, but I hope for the best that maybe they fix the error, like just, you said. I just think all they need to do is just add, just add in the content in the anime, right? Like you just cover. Just add the, the filler. Just add the filler to like Naruto. Just add like three yeah. episodes of filler. Yeah. Just to cover what happens, because if not, there, there just can't be sections where it's like, hey, I don't know when this happened that you're referring to and banking on for me to remember for this reveal to have weight. Like, mm. if it happened. There's no weight. It's just like, oh, okay. <clears throat> I guess the story is progressing. I mean, do you think that could have been the plan? Because, I mean, before the manga ended, the anime was in production. So maybe they thought in order to end it perfectly, we'll just add in this stuff and then the anime can fill it in. Yeah. And then when the anime is done, then it's all there. That's maybe? possible. And I feel like that'll end up working out, right? Like the anime, if, if it they even do cover any of that, like it'll end up being great and it'll end up being a better experience. But it's just such a weird, you know, like a as a as a storyteller like just to think oh i'll leave this for someone else to finish <laughs> right it's like yeah. so it's like why give me it yourself and then yeah. let, them, let them do whatever i want to see i'm reading your shit give me your <laughs> arc that you're trying to leave to the animators like i i don't like oda does that right where oda's like ah i'm just gonna put a bunch of shit on the page and they're gonna figure it out and it's like oda Please just take your time going through everything. I want to see everything that you have to show me, but you're speaking through it. That's the one thing that's like about Oda. He does a lot of side side panel fights, and he bothers me. Like, yo, my dude, just take your time. We, nobody's yeah. rushing you. Maybe no, the, no one is. Yeah, like literally, we've been here for twenty something years. Nobody's Look rushing. Look how long you. JoJo's been going on, and I know it's not just one part, but we will wait through a story. We will just give it to us. Slowly just take your time. You and these could be me. monthly. We still read it for Thank another you. 10 years. Good. See, when a writer gives it to you as slow as you want, then you complain that Chimera yeah. and Arc is too slow. Yeah. See? Yeah. But I feel like <laughs> it's not the release schedule of that arc that makes it slow. It's it's like everything. What yeah, it's everything <laughs> else. <laughs> once you get to the sauce and Chimera, it, it doesn't stop until the arc is over, right? Exactly. It's once and it once it's on fire, it stays there. But I getting hope... there from being bored in Greed Island, right? <laughs> A hot part of Chimera, there's just this like, oh, we're fighting ants in hovels right now. Are we fighting ants in caves right now? What are we hey, doing? Evolved ants, okay? They didn't evolve to live room, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to know once they I literally get... started out as ants. <laughs> I'm curious to know once I get to the series and actually watch more than six episodes. Hopefully, uh, I guess uh, you'll do that in 2023. That's fine. <laughs> I was gonna say, hopefully, Sorry. I could watch this before One Piece ends. So, like, as long as I could watch this and everything before One Piece ends, just to mm. see where do I stand? Do I stay loving this arc, or do I stand by where Ray is and plus pineapple? Like, do where do I stand in the next spectrum? I tell I'm curious to know. Built up arc. Oh no! Right. Like I know it's still good to you know to most people and everything, but you should know where's my <clears> mindset <throat> in the story, in the pacing, and you know everything's yeah. gonna be. I think I think something that will help is you have to pace yourself because there's gonna be a huge chunk that's just gonna take a really really long time. And I think if you watch too many episodes and then you take a break and then you come back again and it's still slow, I think that's when you'll really feel it. But I think you have to figure out how you have to pace yourself in watching that arc. That might help. Yeah. That'll probably be for me when I, once I get there, whenever it is. So I'm very excited to know when it will be because I don't even know yet. 
the moment you feel like stopping, just do it. Yeah. Don't continue. Just stop and then pick it up when you're ready. Yep. I do that all the time. All the time. Oh, I probably will look into that because I already watched a lot of seasonal anime. So probably we'll see. One Piece's anime should be seasonal. Should be seasonal. I don't know why bro to Black Clover and One Piece is not seasonal yet. They should have been that's seasonal. A, that's my most hated current anime practice that we need to let die. Like, can we stop doing ongoing for every anime? Like, Boruto did it. A hundred of those episodes we don't need. Yeah. Like, and there's a, a very good argument to be made that all of those episodes add a lot to the characters and whatnot. So, fine. I'm not saying get rid of them. But, I mean, Black Clover does not need to just be going on and on and on, it and, don't. on and on and on give it seasons. they have only yeah. 14 animators at times and it sucks because that's a very little just to do a yeah they're working hard like they are working to the bone with like probably horrible schedules yeah who knows like, we're done and it's i feel like, bad for what they do because you know as much as you can say what you say about black clover good or bad it has a fan base and people like yes. they attack people on twitter if you say it's bad but they have a fan base that love it that cherish yeah. the show Anime openings that people don't watch here on the panel. Really, really good. Thank you. Thank you, Pineapple, oh, because... It's like, it's like Bleach, where it's like most of the openings are Nice. Great. Thank you for saying that, because somebody like Ray don't agree with it. Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. It, <laughs> that's funny. All right, I, but, yeah, I feel like my opening was solid with the openings. I don't even really love the anime, but I feel like the openings are good. Ah, uh, that Never is true. Oh, no. He don't. <laughs> But but then Pineapple, we just got informed that Ray definitely has to go. And uh, so we definitely do have to cut the show. Okay, no worries. It's been a... Oh, I got to go back to that election stuff. God. Oh, go. yeah. Just go to bed, bro. Just go to bed. Just cut it off now. And just I find out tomorrow. Know. And just find out tomorrow. See what happens when the world... Is it burning or not burning? So no, we can find dude, out. It's going to burn either way. That's the it's crazy part. Way. It's going to yeah, burn either way. It's going to be bad. <laughs> want to burn stuff that's the thing and it's which, like which which way is it going to come out which, which way is it going to come out is the most important part though. i mean it's still coming out the ass regardless so yeah, yeah. sometimes you have to have some booty juice for that uh, there you, go. you gotta have ready for that so pineapple where can the good people find you you can follow me uh on twitter at vocal pineapple you can find me did i say that right at vocal pineapple you can follow me uh on youtube <laughs> i've been vocal pineapple academia um and those are the two places you can find me i think if you find me anywhere else that is not me that is someone else and you need to report them because maybe that is a if, you, if you find him on tinder they definitely don't tell his girlfriend that's not me <laughs> wow that is- why do you do him like that that's so rude wow but james about- ray you watch wait, pineapple wait, video, some of the best my hero videos on the platform bar none and that's i'm not kidding I love Thank his you. videos. He put he knows his shit. He pays attention. He reads into what you need to read into. It's a good time. So any of my hero fans, definitely check out Pineapple's channel Thank because it's worth so it. It's a Twitch channel, not yours too. No, no. Oh, the, oh you're right. I do have a Twitch channel, but I, <laughs> I, I went out of my way to not mention it. But uh Wow, Sam. I don't I don't I don't really stream all that much in there. Like I would really like to, but then every time I stream, I'm like, oh, I could I could probably do better on this like make this look better it's like what i was saying uh, about like my youtube channel like i didn't start really doing it really seriously until i had all this stuff done uh and that's what i want to do with my twitch i think i think i want to get a couple things done before i really start just take your time because trust me ray has evolved his room this through his whole quarantine almost five times four times i've evolved that's my bad. room almost five times to, throughout this whole quarantine so trust me take your time mm-hmm, mm-hmm. james Yeah, you guys can follow me on Twitter at JB Exclusive. Follow my YouTube channel, Careful for Spoilers. Of course, I'm here every single week on the Anime Lately podcast and when we review Black Clover and My Hero Academia. And if you want to find everything else that I do, go to see the number four spoilers.com. You'll find uh, links to the Patreon, all the podcasts on the See First Podcast Network, social media. Check us out over there. And guys, thank you guys for watching this awesome episode 72 here with Pineapple himself. Talking about my hair academia and everything. Thank you guys for watching. Everything in the description down below is rate us on the podcast side. Rate us here and the like. Tell us if we did a good job or not. If you say we suck, then, then I guess we suck then. But I'm thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for enjoying. Sam, plug out. Speak. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. You know where to find me. Sam the Manga Man and all social media. Hope you guys have a good night. He reached 100 series. Yes, and you love your ass juice.
Booty juice. I love it. Bye, outro. Peace. That was great. Yo! Yeah.